Pyro Beaver, away! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Critscast. My name is Jake. And I'm Gamma. And welcome to the grand finals of Season 16, Division 1 of Highlander ETF to a League. We're going to have a game here tonight between two very deserving teams, two dominating teams. We've got Kitty S back in Bardami and Ugandan Pizza Police. So basically like a game between Russia and the rest of Europe. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's Div 1 in a nutshell, I think, pretty much this season. So both teams actually had a pretty um, rocky season behind them. If you look at the um, the stats on the ETF 12 page, you can see that Kitty uh, Zbadker Bardami, or Kitty, or else with Sideburns, however you want to call it, they had two default wins and two wins overall. One of them was over Ugandan Pizza Police. Yeah, that game was very, very close overall, though, if you, if you were to look at the actual scores. You know, it was 3-2, 3-2, I think, overall. So, you know, Ugandan Pizza Police themselves had a pretty, pretty good season themselves, nothing to sniff at. But that loss against Sideburn Wales or Kitty S back in Bard Army is also mi mixed up with a loss against Cake Sellers, a little bit down from their form last season, perhaps. And if you look at the loss as well, you can see that Kitty actually got two default wins. One of them was over Sensation, the second one was over Victory Road. So for them, the season was actually pretty easy. They only had to actually play two games, whereas the other team had to play five. And as well as that, you know, they had to play the five main seed, or well, yeah, the f five games altogether, including the semi-final game, where they overturned the loss that they had gotten in week five against Cake Sellers to beat them this time round. I think they're going to be riding a bit of a wave, Will Pizza, please. Well, we'll see how it goes, but um, looking at the awards that both teams got, actually, you can see that on the side of uh, Pizza Police, you have a little bit more in terms of the bling-bling. You can see a couple of third places in Experimental Highlander Cups, uh, a few second places in Highlander Seasons. That was two seasons ago, one season ago, three seasons ago. They have one first place uh, on Highlander Season Preseason Cup 16, so the one before this one, and then one first place in Experimental Highlander One Night Cup uh, 6 by ScrapTV.tf. If you're to look on the Russian side, it's a little bit more bare in the trophy cabinet with an Experimental Highlander One Night Cup, uh, some Highlander Season 11 second place, Season 12 second place, both on high. Then they fell down to mid in Season 14, but you know, this is a team who have played in Prem as well. If you go mm. back all the way to Season 13, to season 13, I think it was. Uh, so, you know, there's some real high quality players on this squad. Oh, yeah. But before we go to the players themselves, let's take a look at the map picks for this game. As this is the grand final, so both teams get to pick what maps they want to play. And the team that's going from the higher seed, the team who actually got more wins, will get to choose more maps and the decider one as well. So taking a look at them right now, uh, we can see that the first of the bands was for Pizza Police, and that was Upward. Um, um yeah uh, it's an interesting selection i think altogether i saw on the uh the match page one of the russians said um thanks for the free medal <laughs> <laughs> because of the ban but you know it's an interesting pick from redwood i would have thought that maybe they would have uh, had more trust in their ability to push perhaps oh yeah because upward is known for those long sightlines and kind of like chaotic play style whereas um it is usually a very staple map, the one that you hold with your team very solidly, and it's not big of a problem to kind of, you know, play into that meta. But a lot of stuff happens, especially on two last points. And maybe Redwood was a little bit too afraid of the, what the Russians can bring to the table with this one. Yeah, uh, the Russians then followed up with a ban on Coplant. A little bit of respect, perhaps, to the DM capabilities. And they followed it up immediately with a payload pick, maybe, uh, maybe sensing the fear with a bad order pick from them. And then moving on, we have Pizza picking Product. Um, product being uh, the, the cough map, actually. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's the DM one that they're looking for. And uh, they're looking to kind of outclass the, the, the Russians and the Ukrainians to uh, on that DM kind of sort of thing. Um, and then the last one pick going to the Kitty, and that is Gullywash, a 5 CP. Yeah, that's an interesting pick, especially considering some of the... Uh, some of the very experienced players and sixes on the op on the opposing team of Pizza Police, you know, uh, Gully, well known as a sort of sixes specialist map in Highlander. Uh, but even with that, it shows a lot of confidence in the cohesion and the coordination in general coming out from Kitty to have picked it. 
And we'll, we're pretty much going to be seeing that whole variety what Highlander can offer, which is a payload, a cough map, and a 5 CP at the end of it. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, Gollywash known to be a very long map when it comes to Highlander, usually just going to the 30 minute limit rather than the score points. But we'll see how it goes in this game. Indeed. Uh, shall we have a look at the players, maybe? Of course. So Seems good to me. Who do you want to take? Take Pizza Police. How about that? I'll take the Pizza Police here. Uh, Pizza Police, actually, uh, featuring a full roster of really well-established players in Div 1. Some of them actually played in, in Premiership as well. Hearts Farts, for example, who is uh, our Swiss Beggar's Bazooka specialist. I'm not sure we're going to be seeing him this game, however. Um, but we do have Redwood, I do believe. He's playing for this game. Sebastiani, Kasuke, Nebula Shades, Jusa, 31, and Fundo. Uh, some of the, these players did play for some higher teams, uh, but they usually were kind of on the bench rather than playing an active squad. Yeah, this is definitely their moment to shine, really. Uh, they had the finals last season that they came oh so close to winning, but this time, this time they finally want to climb that unassailable mountain. Oh, yeah, and then Russians here coming out with a strong, strong national lineup here uh, with Light Claw, Rez, Bashi, Mif, Flowey, Crime, Posker, Pachan, Finske, and TS. Those names are going to be very difficult to cast with, but we'll, we're going to do our best here with Gamma. Uh, but yeah, all the teams here, pretty much the whole team is just the Highlander national team. Sixes as well, a little bit mixed up in there. Um, we don't see the names we used to see a few seasons back, like, you know, the uh, Shadow. Shadowburn, the legendary Shadowburn, who moved on to another game. Um, but this is a strong roster. They've been playing together for quite a while. And, well, they can be quite dangerous for Pizza Police here. Another thing to note about Kitty's team is that they have poker on heavy for them. And poker is oh, yeah. a very well-established heavy player. And he's paired up with a staple of the Russian community with Pahan on Medic. The two of them together will most certainly prove a formidable combo for Pizza Police to face. It's going to be very difficult for Pizza Police to actually come over them, but you have to remember that Pizza Police had a rougher season than the Kitty with, with back in Bardami here. Two default wins definitely didn't help really practicing for the season, and, um, well, depending on how they prepared in scrims, we'll see how this game goes. After all, this is the grand final of Div 1 as we're about to start here, Gamma. Yeah, I'm going to be up baited. Possibly. No, here we go, I think. Uh, I'm just excited to see what Pizza Police can bring to the table here. This is the game mode that they banned, so you know it's payload, and the Russians picked it, so I want to see how they approach this first point, which has become kind of legendary for some stalls in recent years. Mm. Yeah, the first one can be kind of double-sided going here, as either you really hold it well or you lose your medic immediately right after due to a nice bomb coming from the offensive team, and basically lose the point as a result. You can't really hold. A second hold has been really active since conception of HL, and then if, uh, over the time a few seasons back, they just kind of stopped going to second point here. Yeah, it's a very interesting meta shift, really, without anything major really changing it it's just people realizing how how good a hold third is as well so you know having that first third hold focus can really eke out the most amount of time possible on defense they're slowly getting ready 10 seconds to go blue team is going to be attacking first here that's kitty red team is going to be pizza police ready getting ready to go gamma how about you take this one Sure, I'm going to be watching Crime for Pizza Police, see if what bombs he comes out with, if anything. They're all taking their time to leave here, a little bit just kind of waiting for the initial spam to move, perhaps. But look at Funski, he's going up on Cliff here, trying to see if he can get an angle. Nebula coming in behind him, maybe for a cheeky stab. Ooh, and, and he gets, gets one! Yeah, and there's a bomb coming out of Crime using that distraction. He's gonna get blown away by the heavy and the sentry as well. Bastiani is still alive and running. There's a little bit of a, a time kill here. TS is also in the back line looking for something to stab, but for the, for now, the red team seems safe. Yeah, uh, it doesn't really matter. Those early deaths coming out from blue, they've managed to get the cart up really, really far, almost to the edge of the tunnel, which is exactly what you want to do while you've got Sackways coming in and snipers looking for picks. So they'll be happy enough to wait here, try and get an advantage and push. And Redwood actually coming with the Uber a charge. No, no, Crime actually jumping in, trying to get that drop here. But he's still alive, getting a little bit attacked here by Shades. But finally, Sentry and uh, the, the heavy minigun actually claims the kill here onto Crime. So that hold is still up and running. Fando actually gets a nice kill onto Poker. That's no head for the attacking team. And well, they're kind of losing time right now. 
Yeah, uh, Pan has been sitting in spawn this whole time and continues to sit in spawn as crime goes again. He's going to be levitated into the corner for the sentry wrangled. Again, they keep trying to get Fans or Funsky onto this cliff area to see if he can pick anyone, but nobody's really peeking him. There goes Redwood just baiting the shot, but can't quite, he can't quite get it. And look how many of the blue players are on the cart right now. They're going from the tunnel push here without the medic right now. Just going in. Poker is going to go down there. Shades is actually getting really damaged here. And Sebastiani is still alive. TS was there trying to meddle the affairs, but he's still alive as well. He is still a little bit dangerous there. It is a conch coming out of Koske, but that uber push here, or not uber push, what I'm talking about here, TS going down. But Koske finally getting the kill on the spy. And once again, the situation is stabilized by the Pete's police. Talking about spies, Nebula has been an absolute pain in their side. Getting he's on a 4k now, he's killed the sniper three times, he goes for the heavy this time, he's gonna lift and lift him into the air, does poker. Pan's gonna be forced in a terrible position here, but they're getting so much damage off and they get the cap at the same time. How is that even possible? So Sastiani has to get away, he's still uber, but he's all by himself, now Lightcloud's gonna chase him down two shots and he's dead. That's no medic for the red team and they all have to kind of fall back to the third point, the second point has to be given away for free. Yeah, that was disastrous, really. They got the force out really, really early, but then everyone was weak at the same time because of the pressure on Kurt, and it all just started to fall apart. Seb was left alone, had to die. Probably would have been better served in the kill bun, to be honest. Ooh, Pahan there, a little bit damaged by the soldier, Koske going with a nice sack, but Pahan was one rocket away, and there was not enough rockets loaded for that soldier man from the red team here. Kitty is holding up on the third point. Right now, they don't have a level three running yet. The engineer running around trying to set it up. Now, Redwood is trying to get it done, but they're going through that shed area up top. Uh, just as we're as you're saying that juice that got taken down by the headshot of Fansky, that's going to prevent them getting any sentry at all, which is so important for this third hole. And there's no respect being shown from Russians here, getting forward as fast as they can with Light Claw, putting some pressure on. He's on a 3k, he might die here. Oof. Yeah. That was close, he was getting a lot of kills there and a lot of distraction, but they finally managed to get him down. And now Pizza Police needs to set up on the third point here. They still don't have their engineer ready. There's a there's a dispenser on the staircase, which really does help, but much to do here. Fondo gets a nice headshot onto poker that's no heavy, and you know yourself how much of it how much how important that man is for the team here for Kitty. Yeah, he's that very experienced head in there, that player who's been around for so long going to be able to call exactly where to go. Clearly they've decided to pressure from Boiler here just to get some space for Fansky to get some picks off maybe. Some spam from Crime. But look at this. Nebula is in behind them but they've caught him. Nice pickup from Flowey. Oh, and DS gets found out by the Pyro, unfortunately for him. Rez is on top of that spy checking here. Red would really damage from that exchange. They're still holding the top area. Nice sticky traps there, but now Blow and Pahan is still in the boiler room with his spy Pyro here and the Sniper Vinsky trying to find a kill onto the Medic, but um, the Medic Sebastiani here for the red team is very well hidden on the staircase. Yeah, no, it's a good position to hold. Uh, it's very, it's basically impossible to get sniped from there. It's really, really hard to get stabbed from there. They're making yourself really, really obvious by killing the dispenser. It's a good defensive position to hold, and people have to walk a long way to get to you and force you. Now, right now, a little bit of a stalemate going between both teams. Kitty is having troubles, but the Uber comes out. Now, Lightbow is in a crime trying to get that Uber charge going as far as possible. Now, it's Count Pop coming out of Sebastiani trying to get them down, and now they're chasing the blue team here. Yeah, they managed to clear up basically everyone, but crucially Pahan lives, but he's being pushed back towards the sentry by the by the gun of Nebula. Uh, manages to keep that cart from pushing back, at least he accomplishes that before he dies. Yeah, he Not usually shipped. the medic's job. He gets shivved in the face by the pyro, he's the last one to survive from that engagement, and now he has to walk all the way from spawn from the first point, and that's rough. As Kitty is now on the back foot, they don't have the uber charge advantage anymore, and Sebastian is on 50% right now. As some spam going, really nice spam coming out of crime onto the sentry, but Jusa is still alive, and as long as he's alive, that sentry is not gonna go down anytime soon. Oh, he's actually been forced Whoa. to move it a little bit, and the sniper's actually getting some damage off on it while it's rebuilding. It's really, really weak, but the rescue ranger bolts should save its life. Uh, Pahan dying there after that Uber has put them in a really bad position altogether. Oh, TS trying to get something done in the backline, but gets found out again, and now the blue team is just going without the Uber push. They know neither team has the Uber, they're just going and sacking people on the cart, but there's only three people up. Poker is still alive, he's still pushing the guy. How is that even possible? They're dr they're forcing the Uber charge here out of Sebastiani, and Pahan is all the way back. He's all so safe right now, and now he has the advantage. There's a serious chance of a spot cap here, but the bomb coming in from Kosuke oh. will clear him up. What a bomb that was. What is going on right now? Kosuke once again just sacking himself, but look at this! The cart has been capped! And Edward by the spy! 
Yeah, yes. I missed the spike cap. I said it was a real danger to happen. While they were going forward on their hero mission for Pahan, they kind of forgot about the, the objective. It's an objective-based game, ladies and gentlemen, and especially in Stopwatch. But it's 6 minutes, 14 seconds gone already. The spy cap really saves Kitty a lot of time right now as they're moving on to the last point here. Lightclaw is on the card duty. Pahan is still alive. He doesn't have the uber charge advantage anymore. Sebastiani is on top of it. But the red team is holding in the map room right now. That's unusual Highlander. They usually hold in the bottom. But holding this aggressively really takes control over that choke point in the map room right now. And they have a lot of variety. They can drop down. They can go through that choke point and do a lot of damage to Kitty. I'm also very interested in this sentry position over by kind of the traditional sniper spawn entrance, as it were, on this last. It's just so different. So different. I love seeing new shots like this. Oh, look, it's amazing. Even, look, look at this. Like, the Russians don't expect it at all. They're trying to spam around the corner for the sentry and they're just getting attacked from all angles. And the sentry is still alive. Oh, now it just goes down and now Juice is a little bit of a trouble losing Dispenser as well. Lightclaw is pushing the card and now that strategy is really biting him in the ass as Sebastiani is low on health right now. He has that 100% Uber Charge, but look at this, how close the card is right now. Uber Charge comes out, Sebastiani is trying to clean this card out. Lightclaw goes down, Poshi goes down, and Poker as well, but Pahan somehow stayed alive. He doesn't have the Uber Charge though. Uh, he, he had died before that, he had dropped oh, to Redwood's no. pipes. Which is why that was so confusing to me. I don't know why they decided to let the cart get that close. The opposing medic has dropped. Use your Uber, clear everyone else. Now the objective is so close to being capped. An awful lot more close than it should, closer than it should have been. And oh. look, he's going for a spy cap again, but this time they're aware of it. <laughs> what a cheeky play coming out TS, but now he's cleaned up. The card is just touched, so dangerously close right now. Poker is spamming up the sentry area here. Redwood goes down there, but so does Pacha. Now Boshi Lykla all going down. There's a chip damage, but chip damage adds up eventually. Sebastiani with the heavy and this Kosuke are holding in the map room right now, going really aggressively on Kitty. I really like this strategy, it's working out really well. They can just leave map room here when they know that their opponents are on to tires and just wrap around behind. I mean, TS nearly gets 31 though. He's gonna have to back off real quick before getting stabbed. Poker is just peeking into the map room, but he is not without his medic right now. He needs to be very careful. Now he's only heavy up top, but they have Uber charge here, Sebastiani. Oh, but the heavy gets cleaned up, but Poker, barely alive, actually survives on 9 HP. Now eats his sandwich, well deserved for the Russian heavy. Time to get some nutrients in here after a pick like that. Uh, here comes a bomb from Crime, actually seeing what he can get done. A lot of damage on the nothing, but, you know, it's something at least. It's flashy. And that's flashy enough, and now Sebastiani has that 100% uber charge, Pahan only 30 right now, they need to build that uber charge, and the time is ticking, as Funske is just kind of scoping and trying to find Fundo, but this Fundo is the one who finds the kill right now, and then the Lightclaw is just deciding, no, I'm not going anywhere near, because there's a lot of people on the cart right now, Bosch just trying to get inside of that bell hole, that cauldron of damage, and it gets cleaned up, Sebastiani is still alive somehow, See how it pounds out here. TS, TS trying to get a cap, but no, not quite enough. There's this level 2 sentry just on the choke point. It's providing a lot of supporting fire. As I say that, it goes down a pot and so weak. The flank and the Uber coming in. The soldier Uber in Highlander from Seb on Kosuke. That's nice. Don't see that every day. That's a triple one for the soldier of the red team here. Well done and well deserved with that rocket launcher. And now Sebastiani has, again, the Uber charge advantage. And that's what happens when you're not really watching your own medic here. Boshi trying to get something done, trying to catch the card here. TS now is on it. Oh, it's so close. Look at this. It's barely just in, but they have to clean up. And now they're taking a lot of damage from crime for this. Now Sentry Guns, the only one last defending person on the card with Rez. But Light Claws around it. He's going in here. Oh, he's trying to get something. They're all jumping on the cart, conscious from both no. teams. He manages to get it with his dying corpse. What a capture that was. What but is again, going it's, on? It's bad time. It's it's actually not as bad as it looked. Kitty had some problems pushing these these points. I mean, the the first point they had a few sack waves that didn't quite work out, and all they did is just focus the cart. Second point was free of charge, and the third point kind of again just threw people on the cart, and somehow uh, TS managed to get a sneaky cap in. And the last point here, they were constantly at a disadvantage, and they just they just kept throwing people at it and hoping that the red team here. Pizza, pizza police doesn't really watch the card all the time and sometimes just can't really help but move away and that's was the time where the pirate comes in and pushes everybody off and pushes the card in yeah uh spy cap meta is new meta clearly <laughs> because you know <laughs> i don't know what it was but ts just uncloaks on the card 
And Redwood's already standing on the cart, and he turns to look at him, and he's like, what are you doing? He just stares at him for like a full two seconds while his pyro cleans him up. And at the, at the meantime, he's getting spammed out of it, forcing them all to group around the cart like that. Forced them all to then, as a result of that, take a lot of clump damage. But now, we're going on the other side here of uh, the trench. Now the blue team, Pizza Police, is attacking, maybe going with the sack waves right now. The rest taking a lot of damage from that sticky trap. There's still a little bit left on top of the cliff right now with the heavy cleaning them up, but they're both really weak right now. And with Kitty's back in Bardami on um, holding top here, quite aggressive sentry spot. Here comes the jump. No, he's going to get cleaned up in midair. That's a lot of people dying all at once. It was an interesting kind of double delayed sack, but they didn't wait for Nebula to get in position to really do anything with the distraction of everyone shooting the sky. And the result of it is only Shader and Seb left alive in spawn. But if you do a sack wave, you just might as well throw everybody on the point and hoping you actually get the medic pick here. Pahan is still alive, but here comes another one. Redwood trying to find the medic. There's a lot of damage being exchanged. Kosuke he actually him. finds a kill! Redwood gets him with a kind of a fadeaway pipe almost. Real classy, that's a great sack wave, that's exactly how to do it. And you're right, you know, if you're gonna sack, sack everybody at once. At least one of them is gonna get something big. Oh. And Nebula gets something else big, he gets the NG and the sap on the sentry gun. There's no homewrecker, is there? No, no, no homewrecker, just for power oh, jack. Oh, that really has to hurt for the red team here. The blue is coming with the uber charge, they're safe and sound, spreading as much as they can. Now Rez is trying to find a kill on the Bosch and Fluffy. With both of them now, Bosch is still alive, looking for the medic, he can't find him. And then Sebastiani actually goes down in that exchange here, Light Club claiming the kill for that one. There's a little bit of an exchange here, a little bit of a mess going on the card. Crime is the only one left alive, but now he's gonna get cleaned up as well, and the card is slowly but steadily getting pushed to this first point. Yeah, it was a really messy fight. It's unfortunate that Seb got cleared up there. But, you know, at the end of the day, they dropped Pahan, they pushed in successfully, got them all out of the point, and now they've already taken control of this second point. Gonna make it harder for them to build, and hopefully prevent them from getting a significant hold up on third. The Russian is getting really spicy here, trying to get some damage done from the shutter door, but now with the whole blue team just securing it, it's not gonna be very easy. Now Fondo is in a lot of trouble, gonna clean, get cleaned up here. Kosuke as well with a nice headshot coming out of Funske. He's really aggressive, looking for the medic pick. Scoping in, but he can't find Sebastiani. Sebastiani goes down to a pipe from crime somehow. Somewhere the pipe finds the mark. And now the medic down for the blue team. Coming to the third point with an advantage for the red. It's gonna be difficult here for the pizza police. I mean, that's just that extra dose of reality. Of course you can shoot over houses. You can't jump over them, but you can shoot over them perfectly fine. That's where that spam came out of the came out of the skybox. Probably just wasn't expecting it because he was getting shot at other angles as well. And again, we see a different variation of a uh, of a uh, of the usual hold, perhaps. Ooh, that's a very great spot coming out of Meef here. Never really seen this happening. It's gonna be really prone to spam as we can see it is, but Poker is there trying to get some uh, more damage up close. Now the whole team is in the boiler room. They have a good position here. They're clean cleaning up Redwood, cleaning up 31. And Jusa going down as well for the attacking team. Here Blue has to really back away as Pizza Police losing a few players in that exchange. Sebastiani is a little bit at a disadvantage here, but about to equalize with Pahan. This is like the complete opposite of what uh, of what Pizza Police did on their third hold, where they all kind of just sat in house and waited for the Russians to come to them. This time they're right up in their faces and the Russians are going to have to use straight out the gate, but to be honest they would have had to do that anyway, and as I say it, in they come now, the opening spam and the deflections coming in from Floyd. Oh, Flowey is really on top of that uber charge. He's just pushing people away, getting really aggressive in the little shutter here in the little shed. Now Boshi trying to find some kills onto Kosuke, but Kosuke is the one who claims two kills there with the help of Juice and Shades. And now there's a lot of kills being exchanged. Crime actually going down as well. Now Poker is going to clean up that scout finally, but Sentry is down for the count. And the, the spy here, Nebula, gets the sap on the teleporter. That's going to delay the reinforcements even more. It's important to get those saps on teleporters. Teleporter is one of the most broken things in the game, really, if you think about it. Uh, the home wreck has actually come up on Flowey now since that, uh, since that initial sad sap on the first point. <laughs> you have to be on top of the meta and change accordingly as Flowey is about to die from the spam. He's still deflecting rockets at the cost, okay? Uh, there's just a lot of chip damage being exchanged, but not a lot of kills here. Crime needs a little bit more top off from his medic. Paha is alive, 100% for both medics. They just called it and they're going really aggressive in the shed. Oh, but Redwood goes down instantly to the snipe. There's so many deaths going on all over the place. 
And this one's just going to get completely denied by Pyros denying each other. The spam coming out from other places though, and 31 on this card is doing a lot of damage. And then Meef actually takes down uh, the Engineer. Or the Meef actually goes down because he is the Engineer. And then TS finds another kill under the Heavy on the card. Now Blue is just going in. The Pizza Police needs to push this card. They're losing time. Five minutes to go is not bad if you're pushing last. But they're just kind of bleeding time here for them, Kitties back in Bardami. And now, actually, they're moving away to the last one. They decide to just let it go. There's too many players for them to handle. And now we're looking at the last point defense for the Red Team here, Kitty. Oh, they're doing the classical defense, perhaps. But Pahan is oh! solo! Double bomb coming in from Redwood and Kosuke picking him up. There's a sentry destroyed as well here. This is looking real bad for Kitty. Oh, and that bomb was just so perfectly executed from Redwood. He actually managed to get him through with a fadeaway sticky. And now Meef being the only defender of that level one, that saddle level level one now with reunite with Crime. It's just not gonna be much, but look at what Crime does. He gets 31, he gets Sebastiani somehow. Lacklaw claims the kill there. That's no medically the attacking team. They got a little bit too happy about this. Yeah, walking on an overhang like that is a little bit dangerous when there's a scout respawning and you can just walk directly into your medic like that. Uh, it's a bit frustrating for that to happen to you and you have that much advantages. And again, they couldn't get the cart pushed maybe as far as they would have liked during that period where they had the advantages. Now look at TS. TS is actually really just waiting patiently as the engineer always oh, gets found out by RS. That's unfortunate for the spy. Gonna get cleaned up soon enough. No, yeah, he is. But blue team is just kind of waiting for a good position opportunity to hold. They, the medics actually don't have the uber charge yet. Just waiting for the right spot. There's a nice icky trap coming out of crime right now. With that little shed, little alcove. But we'll see how it goes. But right now it's a little bit of a death time as the blue team gets ready to push. I don't think anyone... Oh, they spotted that sticky trap now. But actually, Redwood might still die to it. Okay, they finally cleared it all up. But Redwood just walking down, going to get dropped. I can't get any damage out. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, everyone's just dying. And nothing is going to come of that except a lot of death, really, overall. Pucker gets killed, I suppose, at the backstab. That's something. <laughs> That's a little consolation prize there, but... Here, Kitty actually holding quite well. They got really damaged in that alcove, but they're still alive, and Pahan is uh, working on top of that. So it's all good. I mean, both medics have 100% uber charge, so it's all up to the blue team here to push this as they're trying to find something or go. The blue team here, a pizza police, uber just being exchanged, a lot of people just flying around, no kills exchanged. Yeah, they're looking to see what they can get. Redwood took this high ground position to try and spam down, but he's just going to get a headshot. Two headshots for Fonsky in this fight. Looking to see what he can get. The death from Pahan there, really, really late. Seb needs to try and get out with 80 HP. He has a dispenser healing him up now. So, you know, they still have three minutes left here, but they can't be getting complacent. Yeah, here, no sentry to be seen. No medic to be seen. Still eight seconds on that respawn, and Poker just gets bad <laughs> headshot by Fondo. That's uh, really gonna slow the defense down even more. Now, Flowey is just the only person who's kind of holding uh, the wave of enemies from coming in. But Redwood and Rez are in the map room right now and spamming the sentry, which is level one. Yeah, he's gonna be a take down for his troubles, really. He had no real support or heals with him. It's a bit dangerous to do that, particularly when uh, Boshi is still alive and can spam down on you like that. Nebula comes in, but he's gonna get picked up by Flowey. He's gonna get picked up by Flowey straight away. And Fundo gets a nice kill onto Fansky. No sniper, they can try and peek, maybe, perhaps. Yeah, and I'm just looking at it, and both teams really have soul players around. I can't really see the player that's doing much better than the rest. Now TS just doing and going on the card. Real nice nice kill on the Engineer. The card is really not that far forward. Only two minutes to go. The Uber comes out trying to get that Sentry down. That's getting really damaged by it for me. Now Flow is the only alive person who can really delay this, and Pahan is still doesn't have an Uber charge. He still doesn't, but they haven't killed him either. He's just sitting up here into this back stairs. Redwood hasn't really spammed them out though, and they're trying to walk out if possible. There's really so few people left alive. Pahan will get his Uber time to just sit in front of the car. 31 just kind of standing there, but will eventually get cleared up in the meantime. But Dusa on the car where they weren't looking gets it so close. Again, Nebula spy cap, possibly shader on it as well. But no, everyone dies. Oh my god, that was so close. Now Rez goes in, but it gets annihilated by the Sniper Vinsky with a nice quick scope there onto the Pyro. And now the cards are so dangerously close for the blue team. It basically needs a little sneeze on it from the blue team here for Pizza Police to actually push it in. Well, KT knows about this, so they're just stacking players on top of it. Yeah, they have half their team around it. It's not just stacking, but that's going to lead to Poker standing directly in the sideline. And now they're just going to walk in, they're going to dry push it. They didn't really have to, I don't think, but they're going to do it. 31 dropping down from the overhang, dueling it out with Floey, and there's a level 3 sentry there that needs to be spammed out. 
There's a lot of players down right now. Sebastiani is in a little bit of trouble there from Light Clock. Gonna get finished. Now Zomi Heavy is alive. Now Shades is trying to get some damage. Zomi actually gets the Pyro. He gets damaged really heavily by Light Clock on TS. Finally finishing that kill off. 30 seconds to go. Not much time at all if you think about it. But the, the card is so dangerous. Close. Look at the pass by Nebula. It's so close. He might get a stab at the cap. But the entire red team is the card. And that's what Redwood needs. He just sams it right now. They're trying to get this height advantage where possible, but there's a level 1 sentry. Oh, that upgraded at exactly the wrong time. Level 2 sentry juice to get to take down before you can reach it. Everyone's dying. That first push there when they had a minute left was way, way too rushed. How? How can it be any closer? I mean, can it be really closer, Gamma, here? How, how did they manage to actually hold this card, basically being entirely in the pit right now? Uh, it was just great defensive positioning, really. When they had that massive uber disadvantage, Pan was ready straight away up the back stairs. He had his scout behind him, ready to protect him. Either heavy in front of him, ready to protect him. And they didn't go for him at the time. They tried to just kind of spawn camp while only like their heavy was pushing. Mm. And they just lost so much time. Pan got the uber charge in and was able to block the card on their final push attempt. Or what would have been their third last push attempt, I think. And the situation there with the last point, what Redwood was doing was right. He was just there trying to spam the card with as many sticks as possible, trying to kill off the enemies as they're all clumped up on the card. They couldn't leave it. Otherwise, it would just go in the pit. And, well, Redwood was there, and then he wasn't. He just got killed somewhere in the middle. middle. Kosuke got, middle, get kill, got killed somewhere in the middle of it. And there are just not enough spamming classes to take people off this card. If Pahan's still alive, they just they just got it in. And that's the first point going in this set towards Kiddy Zbak and Bardami. And we're going to take a look at the logs right now, Gamma. Yeah, I have them up here. Uh, pretty much everything you can expect, really. Redwood did a lot of damage, which... You know, he took positions in order to enable himself to do that, but he was never protected, I think. And he was always maybe a little bit too aggressive because of that. Like, he was basically sitting outside the other spawn when they were attacking last, spamming down on the cart with no protection whatsoever. So, you know, he got all the damage off, but maybe a little bit too aggressive at times. Kind of, I think it kind of defines his playstyle as a whole. I'm looking at the top kills right now, and uh, Lightclaw is leading the charts with 29 kills. That Silent Man just cleaning up all the kills, and he's getting really nice meat shots in there. Actually, finishing off most classes in two, if not, if not less, if it's possible. So that's 29 kills for him. And then there's four people from the blue team: from Pizza, Police, Nedula, Fondo, Redwood, and 31, with quite a nice amount of kills. It was a very high killing game. This one. Yeah, particularly, I suppose it was a long enough one by today's standards. You know, 10 minute times are pretty much unheard of for the most part nowadays. So you've got a lot more opportunity to get those kills in. Uh, overall, I think it's a fantastic performance from Light Claude. And he is really one of the star players on the team. You'd kind of expect it from him. But he was picking up a lot of crucial kills. He got Seb post Uber, I think, twice, maybe even three times. He was often the one who killed Redwood as well. You know, the important kills at exactly the right time, which is exactly what you want your scout to be doing post Uber fight. And just look at the medics right now as well. Sebastiani, a little bit more health dealt. 14 med medigun charges here. Pahan dying a little bit more and also dropping twice there. So a little bit in favor of Sebastiani, but in the end, it's Pahan's team that won this one. And you can't really like feel bad for Sebastian for not doing his job as he was doing amazingly well. He was staying alive. He was coordinating his team. He was popping at the right time. He didn't drop a single time, but Pahan ultimately worked better with his team and his team managed to win this one. Albeit that was incredibly close. I would say that shows a little bit better cohesion post Uber for, uh, for the Russians and even better cohesion without the Uber. They didn't need it. You know, seven charges versus 14 tells a very, very clear story overall that the uber charges weren't all that necessary particularly on defense for kitty to pull off that successful hold although as you, you were right in saying it was right up to the last second it was so close basically a sneeze on it would have pushed it in but now we're getting ready for a second leg of this game here i believe we're going to be playing a best of three format on all three maps so that's going to be a long one folks as we're getting ready to another round of yell at water uh don't forget to stay hydrated you know <laughs> Gotta get the water in while you're watching some sick plays.
Uh, water in, and we're gonna use this time to plug ourselves in as, uh, well, we have to kind of buy this water with something, as I'm gonna take a look at what you can do for the stream to help us all out. Of course, visit our merch.chriscast.com website, where you can pick up the sweetest Team Fortress 2 merch from really nice and high-quality items, uh, as well as Patreon. Um, you can also just subscribe to the channel, that also helps us out immensely in production, as we are getting ready for the second leg of this game here on PL Badwater between Kitties, Bakken Badami and Ugandan Pizza Police. Yeah, I'm interested to see how Pizza Police approach pushing this differently, maybe. Um, I did like how they approached pushing the first point. It's obviously the last point that they'll be looking to fix, I think, overall. There were some weird strategies coming out on defense from the Russians, so it'll be interesting to see if they try another few, uh, another few cheese strats maybe here or not worked out for them so well. I mean, the third point aggressive hold was actually holding Pizza Police quite well until where well, basically Meef was killed. And that's the biggest problem. They need to kind of make sure that Meef stays alive throughout the push and even after. Even if the sentry dies, as long as the engineer is up and running, you can get another sentry up and the third one and the fourth one each push push after push. Essentially, that level three sentry is another player on the battlefield that just can take damage for you and they give damage back. So having Meef alive for most of the part, I do believe this is the key to Kitty's defense on this map here. Definitely so. Uh, so we're looking at the first offense coming out. Last time around there was a lot of dying coming out from Pizza Police, trying to get an advantage because of those quicker respawns on defense. It looked like they're getting ready to go again. Double bomb coming in, a little bit unsuccessful perhaps. And Pahan is all the way in the garage door, he's safe and sound, and that that jump was completely unfulfilled as, well, both Redwood and Kosuke could not find their mark, and now Russian team is just going on top once again, safe and sound, might be looking at yet another jump in from the attackers. I definitely expect it, it's what they did last time, it worked for them last time, so why not do it again? Here it comes, in from Redwood, going to get knife, get some spam off, Pahan avoids it all this time. They again waiting for Nebula to come in just as they were jumping, but he didn't get an opportunity to. Now we're getting completely bumped into by everyone and everyone and their mother right now. Like Pocket Piss picks up the kill here uh, with the sentry gun being wrangled as well. So that's no danger for Kitty, Zvak and Bardami. Mean, they're still alive, they're still kicking, they're still safe and sound. And now the time is ticking. And well, Pizza Police has to make a choice whether they just go in with whatever they have or they wait and look for another push. But force coming out there by, by uh, the soldier and the, the Redwood here actually four people down for that push but Pahan had to pop and now blue team has the advantage of an uber. The one thing different about that bomb in was that they had res just walking forward pressing mouse one and clearly that was the scary the scary enough difference that Pahan felt he had to pop. Here they come in onto res first to make sure they can't get the light. Looking to get the spam on the sentry but it's not down yet. Oh, he's gonna get zapped by the Engineer, Meep has to get away and he's safe and sound now. Bahan is really aggressive now with Vinske, and there's a lot of kills being exchanged now that Uber phase. Uh, 31 and Sebastiani are on top right now, they're gonna push this card sooner rather than later, hopefully as Shades is now on it. But Blue has claimed this point with Fondo finishing off this push with a nice little carry on top in the form of a crime. Oh, I just noticed that they actually managed to get the sentry out with the rescue ranger, but it's gonna die anyway with this bomb from Redwood on Kosuke. Gonna oh. get it what he can. Pahan is in a lot of trouble right now. He's gonna get flung into space and then another rocket from Kosuke gonna pay with his life, but that's good enough as Pahan was completely separated from his team and now with no medic for the defenders. Well, Kitty are looking kind of shaky right now. It kind of looked like that Kitty wanted to try a soft second hold because they got that they got the level three sentry out. But now what they're actually going to find is they mightn't even get a third hold at all. Just look at how aggressive Pizza Police are. Poker gets destroyed. But they're going in right now here. The blue team Pizza Police are very hungry for that win. They need this one. Now Sebastian getting a little spam back from a Soldier here. Now popping that con. She's going to go for it. But Uber comes out from the blue team here. Oh, Redwood's going to get disconnected from his team. He's going to get picked off. He was looking to go forward and see if he could pick up Pan because now Pahan has a 50% advantage here. The Nebulas are around them, they're trying to find them, but they can't quite get them. Despite that, all that, they are going to get third pretty much for free. That's a really quick time for the attackers. There's a lot of time to go for the last point here. Russians really need to set up some sort of a defense now. Mif is alive, but Kosuke is on him, trying to get him down before he builds up anything, but he can't pace with his life. Lightclaw picks up the kill for this one. 
as Bahan is trying to build his super as fast as possible. Now he has it. Blue team does not. Sebastian is at a disadvantage, and they're just kind of looking down at this slope here, trying to find some damage, trying to find a constellation prize, maybe some pick. We'll see how it goes. I really don't like this kind of we're just going to give up slope strategy and hope that our sniper snipes people. I think mm. it's a little bit outdated. And look at that, Nebula gets the <laughs> sniper. Now he can't hold choke all by his lonesome. And they're giving up so much ground for free, especially when they have the Uber advantage. They're going through this tires area. They have the Uber charge. Bahan Sodas as well. They've been spotted by Lightclaw. Now Lightclaw is waiting for a good opportunity to push, but now they're going with the Uber charge, dropping down. Uber is exchanged. The sentry has been sapped by the spy, and the Ubers, as they fade, they're looking for some more kills here. 31 is trying to kill a TS. Is a lot to... Bahan's low on health here, Gamma. They're picking up all the important kills here, one by one. They didn't kill 31, he was doing so much supporting fire from way out to the way out to the right. Uh, poker tries to drop on the cart, but wow, that's a much improved performance from Pizza Police. Yes, I was about to say, what a performance, what an improvement coming out of Pizza Police. What happened in there? That was just a very short break, and yet they managed to completely overrun Kitty's Buck and Bardami, who were trying to go for the same hole as they did in the first round, and then it just worked. It worked so well. Time is now 4.34, and that's going to be very difficult for the Russian team to actually push. This is why you take best of three in finals, folks. You gotta you got give up the extra little time in order to show off your team properly. This is exactly what Pizza Police can do at their best. <laughs> so you're just saying they're trying to flash rather than play for the win? Ah, no, it's not just that, you know. If you, if you really want to win finals, you want to do it while uh, showing exactly how good you are. One game, one best of one, isn't necessarily a reflection of your team. What we saw here in the second game was an evolution. They've understood their, what went wrong the first time around. And they executed it perfectly in a 4 minutes 34 time. Now, with Pizza Police holding the first point, Kitty attacking it for the second time. We'll see how it goes this time for the Russian team. They are looking at a very tall mountain to climb right now. Gamma is... The gates are down. The first skill goes immediately onto Lycolo by Fondo. Fondo. I can't spell. But yeah, he gets a, gets a nice kill here. Nebula actually takes down Boshi there. And, well, they're just looking at a jump here, but without the soldier, they might have to delay it a little bit. Yeah, actually, Nebula's gonna get crime as well. Oof. Little things like that, like even killing Lightlaw right out of the gate, that robs you of times two on the cart, and as a result, they're gonna have to put times five on the cart instead, <laughs> because that's apparently the most efficient way of doing things. Nebula again, third kill, again on Tabashi, really gonna slow them down here. And now, well, right now, the cart is being completely pushed. There's a lot of stickies coming out from Red Bull onto it. Poker is trying to get him down there. He gets a lot of damage onto him. And the Uber pops out of the corridor there. They're trying to run it up the slope here by the Uber. Oh no, but look at this! Sebastian actually goes down to the sniper Finske with an amazing kill! Oh, that's exactly the sort of clutch, <laughs> clutch game play that you want to see coming out of your pick losses. They might not actually get this cap. They will last touch from me. They're just losing everyone. They lost Pahan as well in that little post Uber fight. But the payoff is they're going to get the cap at the very least. But that time, that timer still keeps counting down. What a headshot coming out of the blue sniper. He rushes really on top of this. And now Light Flood, their whole team just died in that push. But that's okay as they got it to the, sec the first point. They're pushing under the second. But that gave enough time for the red team, for Pizza Police, to actually set up a nice defense on the second and an even better one on the third here, Gamba. Oh, Boshi's behind them. He's all the way behind them on, on third. He's walking up now behind them. If he had only seen Juicer behind him, he could have actually stopped Juicer from even setting up a sentry here. He's actually going to find him. Will he be able to pick him up? Picking up the sentry would be such a big pick. He's oh! just about going to make it. That's well deserved for Boshi. He's on 4 HP, but he got the sentry, he got the engineer, and now he's just going to die to Sebastiani's arrow as he's just down now. And. What a game here we have. Sebastian actually goes down there to a headshot. Yet another one coming out of uh, the sniper here, Finske, as they're pushing down the third point, and what a kill! Oh, what an air blast. Pyro's a class, guys. They're actually throwing. Is this gonna happen? 
We I might don't know. see a sub four minute time here. I'm not even joking. Is this Cloud9 again? As look at this 100% Sebastian Yolen 15. If they just push with this way, with this confidence to the last point, they might actually get it. And they're popping really early, going with the Uber Charge and trying to just not make any mistakes here. Poker is all the way up. The sentry goes down. They're trying to spam out Juice and Redwood. Red was so close. Bosch claims the kill here. Now finishing up the pie, Spy as well. Juice has about to die solo. He has again. And Bosch is on 3 HP this time there's only two people left alive it's medic heavy in map room not exactly ideal they do have that high ground at the very least i suppose to shoot down on but it's going to be 31 has to jump down he's going to die here 100 percent seb is pretty much in a dangerous position why is he going to die he could have walked to his teammates and now Rez is the only one, he's just gonna get cleaned up as well, Pachan. Oh no, but that's just Pachan with the card flowing, and tries to blast everybody away. Gets cleaned up, now Crime goes in with the kill, gets cleaned up as well, but the card goes in! And they shorter time than 434, what are we watching here, Gamma? How? That was, I'm fairly sure, I'm gonna look at the logs to make sure, but I'm fairly sure that was under three and a half minutes. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. How oh is that even the God. thing? How is that even a thing? I thought it's just done and done for Pizza Police with 4 to 34. That's an incredibly good time for Badwater. And yet, somehow, the Russians just went through from the first point to the last without even once stepping away from the cart. I, after that first push, I was absolutely convinced, absolutely convinced that they weren't going to make it. And then Boshi gets behind them, he stops them setting up a sentry, and then Seb dies to Fansky, who just gets kill after kill after kill. He dropped him on first as well. Yeah, that's so crushing. So crushing for Pizza Police right now. As they, they had such a good time, they were so confident going into this, this set, and yet somehow the Russians managed to get one up on them. Winning him the first map of this set here, going to the second, which is Product, the Koth map, pure DM map. But before we go into that, just looking at the logs right now and leading the charge with the top kills here. Nebula, the spy, with three kills top on, on the enemy sniper here. 12 kills top. Lightclaw, Meath, and Finske then finish off the top four uh, with 11, 10, and 10 respectively. Lightclaw once again on top of the charts as we're going to take a look at the medics right now. Sebastian with one drop, six pops, and 12,000 healed. Pahan with one pop less, but no drops, and about the same when it comes to healing, just 1,000 less. Even though Pahan died less, I mean, it just doesn't matter. The game was so quick. The kills, the amount of kills and the difference between them. You can really see how fast this game was. Oh, it was lightning fast. Absolutely incredible stuff. But that one drop from Sebastian, that one drop was all that was necessary for them to lose that game. Fantastic headshot, headshot coming out from Fansky. Uh, I'm still in shock, man. Three minute 30. I called it. Three oh minute 30. God. That's amazing. I, I just... We might yet have an amazing game in front of us. As Pizza Police on the back foot right now. This is the, the, the map they have to win. From now on, they cannot lose a single map. There's still, you know, a few points difference. They have to only cap three points, or I believe it's, yeah, it's three points to win this one. So it's really, you think that is going to be a short one. But seeing how both teams play, how aggressive they are, and how really neither team really has amazing players just kind of standing out because the whole team is amazing. It's so interesting to see this one. Yeah, I mean, everyone seems to think, oh, caught is caught shorter. But man, if every game goes down to the wire, like I'm expecting it to here... You know, each round's gonna be six minutes, man. We're gonna see double overtime every <laughs> single time. Yeah, I'm uh, not calling it here first. Well, seeing how both teams play, what do you think what's gonna happen this this game? Who who's gonna win? This this is after all um Kitty's pick, right? Or was it the yeah. uh, Pizza Police? That was Kitty's pick. Yeah, no, I'm fairly sure they picked it for two reasons. And those reasons are called Light Claw and mm. Fansky. Mm. <laughs> That's gonna be very painful for Pizza Police. If they can't neutralize Lightclaw in particular, I think, on this map, they're going to be in for a world of hurt. Scout on this map is just so powerful when paired with decent heals, but you brought can't, in on Ubers. You can't forget how important on this map is a heavy. If you have a heavy who can really play around this middle point and know how to position themselves and be play aggressively, play defensively, play on the rock, that is just going to be such a crucial point of anchor for that team to just kind of hold around. And you have to remember... Porker, who wasn't really that visible in Badwater, might actually really show up this game. 
Yeah, again, you know, it's the whole experience thing that he provides to the team, you know. A good heavy who knows how to play this map, as you say, is absolutely the cornerstone out of every push and every defense. But at the same time, I think poker, maybe, the heavies, the combos in general, will decide who will win this game. Mm -hmm. It'll be it'll be Light Claw on the pick classes who decide by how much. Oof, Light Claw was really popping off this game, so we'll see how it goes on and that cough map, whether whether his team really allows him to just kind of run loose without a leash or rather keep him close to just kind of go and for the finishing kills here. Boshi as well doing an amazing job on flank, just kind of being a distraction. He might really show up this game as well. And like I said before, this is Kitty's map. This is a map they knowingly and willingly picked against Pizza Police. And Pizza Police lost on their pick, which means if... If they really don't find a way to go through the strategy and the cohesion of the Russian team, we might really see this as a, as a very 3-0 sweep. Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Uh, actually, on Boshi, now that you mention him, I didn't say it before, but he had a pretty poor first game. I suppose the whole game just kind of passed him by <laughs> as a whole. Mm -hmm. He didn't really have to do much. But that second game, man, he pulled out the plays exactly when his team needed them. Now, you know, Soldier is such a good class on this map. Might need to see some of them sick plays again. Oh, she twice, actually. Dang, that's... that's um, Engineer, Jusa, actually, dying twice to a Soldier with three HP. That is really disheartening, because if you lose your Engineer on defense like that, to a singular Soldier behind your lines, that just hurts deeply inside your engineer soul that you just can't keep a sentry up and that just point go and i think i think that was the key as to why kitty actually won it so decisively i kind of want to watch the stv back just to see how he got there because i still haven't figured out it's how just, both he actually uh, got behind yeah because they were all alive and they're like building sentries and stuff oh, it's just weird and then there's a uh, shouts from WeTube on the production that there is uh, <laughs> the, the stream actually got what happened there. And well, Bosch just just went through. He just didn't bother with doing any damage. He just wanted to get behind the me lines, and he got so unnoticed. And that's why he basically was on Juice duty, and Juice did not have a good time that game. But now slowly getting ready for this game here on Koth Product between Kitty Zid Bakin Bardami and Ugandan Pizza Police Div 1 of ETF 2L Season 16 with me, Jay, here and Gamma right beside me with Hidu on production. We're slowly getting ready for this game here, Gamma. Yep, yeah, uh, team's obviously just kind of taking a break after how intense the last game was. I don't blame them, man. So much stress, so much stress involved. This is a big, th big deal, you know. Mm -hmm. Div one, you know, out, up after this, you know, you're really in the big leagues. Get up to those prem teams. You no, know, they'd be scrimming prem teams all the time, and they know what they can, what they'd be able to do in Premiership. So now they just want an opportunity to do so and to add another medal to their collection. And then versus uh, Fela and uh, Strong Opinion is the uh, the crowned victors of the last season here uh, playing in the finals. But we're going in in this game right now, looking at Crime and Redwood as going to be the fastest ones to the point by far. Yep, uh, Crime actually gets takes a really fast roll out onto the rock, trying to see where people are. Get that early spam out first. No real major events happening thus far. A lot of reflex, but there it is. Redwood and Crime go down simultaneously to the Cypress. <laughs> And now Jusa gets cleaned up by Lightclaw on the side here. Sebastian is losing his uh, friends uh, one by one there. Shades and Rez are the only ones gonna protect him on the middle point. No one's really ready to claim it yet. Bosch and Meef on the flag actually gonna get cleaned up here by uh, Meef. Bosch and low health. But both teams just kind of reluctant to go on the point here. They're waiting for a little opening. Kosuke tries to make it. Gets a kill onto Fansky at the very least. Pays it with his life. But using that space, Red will respawn, trying to get forward. But he takes so much damage for his troubles. We're still a little bit stalemate here, but 31 walks forward and secures the point for his team. That's well done by the Pizza Police. Now they have to kind of hold it for a long, long time. That's three minutes. That's an eternity when it comes to Team Fortress 2. Now both medics have their 100% Uber Charge ready to pop at any time. There is a Conch coming out of the blue team here. I believe Bosch is on top of it. He's holding on Cliff Area, waiting for a good opportunity to push. Yeah, they want to try and get some Sam out before Ubering if possible, but nope, here comes the Uber walking forward, Pyro Demo trying to force him as best they can, here it comes now, counter pop, oh, so much going wrong here for Pizza, or for Kitty rather. 
Yeah, they're going on the point. Actually got quite a lot of cap time, but they didn't finish it. Now Crime is the only one alive here. Me trying to get cleaned some people up there as well. There's a little bit of NG fight going on the point, but Meep's gonna get cleaned up by Kosuke. Now he's on Boshi, but it's just rockets being flung left and right. That blue team needs to get on the, the point. It's so close to being capped. There's not enough red people to block it from being uh, capped right now. And now finally, after one minute, Kitty manages to take control over the point. Uh, in the background there, as that was happening, Pahan went down to about 20 HP while he was being gunned down by Nebula. Couldn't quite finish it off. There was a nice two-for-one pipe from Crown there at the end of that push as well. But, you know, getting a minute off the timer, it's pretty good. And Pizza Police will be happy enough for that to just reset and go again. Mm, and now both medics actually on 77% uber charge, now 80, waiting for a good opportunity. But now the ball is in red team court here. Pizza Police need to find a, kind of an opening and they're looking for one, getting a Meef. Now Nebula gets actually cleaned up, that's no pyro, but the uber goes down actually here. Fitzke kills off the medic with the uber charge. Blue comes out immediately with Pahan and his team, sharing it as much as he can so he can... But the Pahan getting jumped by Kosuke so close to claim the kill on him. After this quick exchange of, of kills and damage, but... Kitty somehow still in control after this one, and Sebastiani, oh well, he's gonna be gathering this super for a long time again. Yeah, well, that's the danger of Sniper on this point. If you don't respect him, you're going to drop in sidelines like that, and the respect was not shown, and was duly delivered upon. But regardless of that, I'm gonna use this superior positioning here to just try and spam forward, get the point if possible, and they will manage to get that point cap. That's very good aggressive play. And now holding quite aggressively here is the blue team. Kitty actually looking at capping the point immediately right after. Neither medic really has a uber charge, so if anything could happen. A poker just going on the point right now. He's not really too scared of the damage, but it stacks up, you know. Me now with light clock trying to get some chip damage onto the enemy team, but Red's holding really well behind the rock. And actually, Pan managed to engineer an advantage somehow here, but Seb is just about going to get it in time to counter. This could turn out really badly for Kitty here. They're all Ooh. going to die. Now Flo, he was the last one trying to push enemies away, and I was so close to capping, but Red had a better Uber and better positioning, and now they're in control of the point, holding really aggressively with Nebula, feeding them the information from the back lines. Doesn't look too good for Kitty right now. Yeah, they're just, I don't know how Pan managed to get that advantage, but they just couldn't get any damage onto Seb at all. The counter pop, the superior positioning coming in from their flank, just all came together well. Seb actually gets a <laughs> melee kill on TS. <laughs> With the head showing the health of the enemy players, that's really unusual unlock for the medic. But now Kitty just slowly getting the cap time with Poker just edging himself on the point. He's finally getting the, the cap time as well with barely exchanging any kills. That's three down for the red team. Without Redwood, they can't really hold it that well. But now Zeb has the uber charge. Pahan is 25% off. And that might be the opportunity they're looking for going from the cliff area. Let's see how it goes out. They're going in really aggressively. Gonna pop now. Onto the scout, looking to get forward here on Shay to try and force Pan, because I think they assume Pan has. He's so weak, he's 50 HP, but he's gonna maybe possibly get out of here. I don't know, but gonna get the point anyway. Yeah, point is what matters, but Pahan now has 100% and only 50 HP to work with. 45 seconds to go for the red team. Now, going with the Uber Charger, Lyclaw and Crime are the ones who are leading this. Now, Lyclaw gets finished off by Redwood. Crime is looking for some consolation prizes. He's gonna get completely swarmed by the red team. They kind of just jumped away from Pahan when they were shiny, and Pahan's gonna die to Fundo for standing in the sidelines while capping the point. You don't want to stand on point as Medic. You never want to stand on the point. Ooh, well, there's an equalizer there. Here, Flowey, Finske, Bashi, me all going down to an amazing kind of push of uh, Pizza Police. 30 seconds to go for Pizza 51 for Kitty's back in Bardami. And now, control of the point is in the hands of Pizza Police. They have the respawns, they have the players, and most importantly, they have the Uber. Yeah, I, do, I just don't agree with what Bahad and, and Kitty did there. They kind of pushed at two players, dropped one of them, and then the other one jumped away. It was a bit strange. They have the advantage, as you say, to actually have full Uber advantage. They're going to bait them onto the point here, use onto them to clean up your thing. Here comes the Uber. Yeah, cool. So many kills. Crying me, Flabby Bosh, all going down with that Uber charge. You can't really do anything against that. And now Poker is the last one to die as the first point of Koth product goes to the way of Pizza Police. Yeah, that's an awful lot better for them. It'll do their confidence absolutely the world of good. Oof, yeah, be able to it. reassure themselves that they can they can pull this back. Um, a map down 
<laughs> they need it really badly. Now Crime once again really fast to mid. Red doesn't really bother with rolling out. He wants to preserve that health, and now Boshi's on top of him on the cliff side. Fundo gets a lot of damage onto him, but now Shades is on top of Boshi instead. And that's that. And now the team just try and swarm the team. A lot of kills being exchanged here, Gamma, as uh, both teams looking to get some pick picks. Now Kosuke low on health, trying to find the medic. Jumps behind. No. There's a little bit there's a little bit of passive approach coming out from Pizza Police this time. But you know it worked out. Pucker just walked all the way across the point by himself. Trying to do something. There's a crit charge that we missed. Crime trying to get some important picks here. He's not gonna get Fondo at the very least. But unfortunately Seb. the big one's still alive. Sev so close to dying. Boshi chasing the kill and missing the last rocket that was so dangerously close for Seb to die there, but now that Balls of steel that he has really paid off as he has 100% against that crit screen. That's not gonna really help Pahan staying alive. And now they're really looking for blood right now on point. Uh, Nebula gets in crucial pick there onto Fansky, but they Uber so early onto Redwood. He's only really gonna get uh, flowy for his troubles here. They're trying to walk up the hill to get Pahan, but he's protected by the big Russian man poker. <laughs> Nebula just wants to uncloak and go for him, but there's no real space. Everyone on Kitty is dying. The bomb's gonna come in. Nebula uncloaks, <gasps> gets him with the gun. Last fadeaway shot. He actually is gonna escape. Never mind. What? Good play. That was amazing play. Kosuke just man, just done the work, and then Nebula was there to claim the kill. That's no medigun, no Chris Creek for the it's a, for the defending team here. Now going with this sack wave, Crime and Bosch trying to look for the medic, but they just completely missed him. And he's just standing in the dispenser, it takes a rocket for his troubles. He's still alive. Bosch doesn't notice him. He's trying to kill off people here. Heavy goes down. Now Shades is the last one alive. He's so dead right now. He just doesn't have any health. Anyone sneezes at him, he's dead. But the point finally goes to the way of Kitty as they're just kind of regrouping on the point, looking for some more reinforcement coming from spawn, which is Sebastiani still alive and on that 90% Uber. I really like how, you know, higher tier teams in general, don't they don't need Uber to push. All you need is for the enemy team to not have Uber, and then you can dry push using the space created from bombs like they did there. They're able to walk in and clear up everyone else, but now here is the counter play, Redwood coming in with the Uber and the scout, but they're not really getting any significant kills here. Yeah, Shade's trying to find something else, looking, just chasing people down, gets Finske, he's still behind, but there's a mini sentry there, and that's the ultimate spot of Scout's Bane, as he's just a sentry still killing people. The Kosuke trying to look for some other people in the back line, gets cleaned up as well, but the point still belongs to Pizza Police, with Kitty kind of breathing down on it, looking for something to do, Pahan died there, so he's once again at a disadvantage, and, well, they might as well just push now, neither Medic actually has the Ubercharge. Yeah, I don't agree with him coming up on the crits, Craig, though. When you're at this significant of an uber disadvantage anyway, why would you really use crits? I don't know. Uh, and regardless, actually, that's two kitty players going down, but they're still going to try and push forward. Poker's taking so much damage, just about Liz Pan. More importantly, taking a lot of damage. He's barely going to live, I think, but it's going to be a successful hold still for Pizza Police. Oh, but Poker is just so aggressive. How is that man not dead yet? He's still just shooting people down the point, but the point doesn't belong to TT yet. They're just getting the faster response for the trouble. Now Poker with the Fist of Steeper coming out of the red team. Now Seb is kind of getting forced there to do some damage. Flowey trying to push people away. And well, I think it's more of a deterrent than an actual push. They're not even going to have to use the crits to kill Seb here. He just goes down in the background after that push to Poker, who's still behind them after all that time. I was, oh, it's just unfortunate for staff to come out of them when they don't have the players alive to take advantage of it and they don't have the positioning either. Oh, 31 actually managed. Oh, so close to finding crime there, but not quite enough. Now Pahan getting completely spammed in that area. Whoa, but did they actually pop the crit screen getting <laughs> forced, I believe. Popping on the soldier, getting clean uh, that, that spine that was uh, harassing Pahan, and, but that's no crit screen for the foreseeable future for the defending him, Kitty, with 40% onto set. I do believe both medics will get the Uber charge about roughly the same time. Perhaps so, uh, but they're gonna walk forward anyway, I think, because they know that they have slight positional advantage if they walk forward, but 31 shooting the wrong direction. It's because he's seen the TS is behind him, but Boshi's gonna bot my and get absolutely nothing except damage. 31 is so low, he's gonna be forced Oof. to back off, but dies in the less. And now Seb is just kind of in the trouble here. TS, you're looking for the kill, but uh, well, just kind of abandoned the idea. Uber coming out from the red team, trying to clean up the point, and Seb is going on the point, trying to block it from the gate cap. Now Shades is in it as well, Uber fades. The full crits to come in, perhaps from concrete, if they have the angle with which to use it on, perhaps, because they don't have a crime's gonna use it here now, but there's no one really left alive to kill except for Kosuke. 
who he won't even get with that, but you know, he looks intimidating and shiny, but Pahan dies, Red will finish his crime at the same time. This is going to be a recapture for Pizza Please. Oh, and that's so crucial. 40 seconds to go. That's about the time that you build your Uber Charge in. And Seb is alive, whereas Pahan is not. So that's just definitely going to be a difficult time for Kitty to push this. The poker is just going on the point. Gets a lot of damage for Straubles. That point is just getting completely swarmed by the red players, but they're losing health slowly and steadily here. Pahan healing the blue team up. Flowey and Pahan poker just going on the point right now getting spammed by the red team now bomb coming out of Kosuke gonna get cleaned up as well point is getting slowly kept here how I don't know to be honest just having poker there behind was able to soak up all the aggression coming out and just slam them all down but they're losing players one after another here just dying one by one trying to see what they can get they get Fansky I suppose with shade just something that can stand on sidelines a bit more but time is running out here now Seb needs to get his uber charge if he wants to do something. He's just standing there healing the team. Now Point is being slowly capped by the piece of police. Boshi trying to get something done about this. It's overtime. Uber has come out from the red team. They have a point right now. They're sharing it very heavily, but there's not a lot of blue players to work with. Now Weev goes down as well. Pahan is the only one alive up front. Finsky, Flowey trying to get on the point, but having the heavy 31 on the point is just not going to cut it for Kitty as they're losing the second point of the set. I love how Fans uh, Fansky just understood that he wasn't going to get to the point, so he killed Seb anyway <laughs> with a close range schedule. A little bit of disrespect, but that crits Craig didn't really work out for them last round. They're sticking on at this round. Crime again is going to be way faster onto mid, but he's going to tag that first sticky from Wood for his troubles. Mm, and now, once again, Kitty is so aggressive. Look how aggressive they are, just swarming the point. Just claim control over it. Poker going down for his troubles, but Redwood uh, gets cleaned up by Finske instead. A lot of clear kills being exchanged there. Uh, and Sebastiani actually going down for the red team. Only two people up for Pizza Police, and the aggression really paid off for Kitty. Yeah, they kind of baited them forward, and then they just walked right into them. Really, really nice, cohesive play. They saw the space available for them to walk into with they used a bomb as distraction and they can just walk forward and clean up everyone on the team really nice play they full crits advantage now too you have to remember that on this map here especially if you don't have the point you respawn much faster than the other team that does have it which means that the blue the red team here gonna have really fast respawns are gonna respawn at the same time but now kills being exchanged here Kosuke Fondo going down for the red team once again they can't even reach the point now poker is barely alive but he's still kicking and Paham actually died there somewhere on the way somehow somewhere yeah. someone found the kill I was watching that crime was shooting down at Redwood with crit stickies missed four in a row and then dropped his medic <laughs> a little bit unfortunate really they were hyper aggressive on the cliff they were trying to get Seb before Seb could build any significant uber charge they're just gonna walk forward now I think try and get some damage off and then walk forward off that but in comes Boshi no. looking for anything <laughs> gets absolutely <laughs> destroyed by Rez that's three down no demo this should be an easy cap but Pizza Police, look at this, four down, yeah. Pahan, four, 50%. But Seb's going down to a nice hatcher from Finske. No heals on the side of Red, but they are in control at the point. Surprisingly enough, that's going to delay Seb's respawn by quite a substantial amount. They're losing health as well as Kili's just peppering them with some shot, pot shots coming out. And while Pizza Police is still in control, 70% Chris Creek charge onto Pahan is quite a dangerous to look at right now if Crime gets those nice stickies in. That's just going to be very, very dangerous for uh, for Pizza Police to actually hold this. Public safety announcement. If you know the enemy sniper is alive, don't stand on the point as medic, please. In comes Crime with the crits creek Sticks, he's going to pick up a lot of players. They're going to walk forward here, but crucially they lose Pahan. Nice bomb coming from Kosuke. And that's what happens when you don't have no shininess. They do have the control still in, in their, the control point still in the control. And they only lost Pahan, Finske, and Meef. So that was a pretty good exchange for what they had, but unfortunately, Seb has got faster respawn, which means he has gonna build his Uber a little bit faster as well. Now, we Pizza Police crits. have. Whoa! Both actually running crispy. Well, that's a high risk and high reward case of the Medigun here. Now, Pizza Police is hungry for blood, going to the point right now, trying to find some kills here. Uh, basically, getting nothing for the troubles. A lot of damage being exchanged, though. S31 is behind the rock, spamming some people on the right side. Pahan's nowhere to be seen now behind the point. Oh, now the kim kills come out. Redwood fun double go now. TS as well, the spy for the blue team. Roughly equal, Kitty's still in control. Yeah, losing Redwood there is absolutely crucial. You have full crits, but who are you going to use it on at this point? We've got a crits re crit scenario here. It's not often that you see something like this. And now Redwood has respawned. Here comes the first stick. 
Going to get Light Claw on Fancy, absolute <laughs> perfect hit. That was a pyro with the oh, with the jetpack. Wow. And he completely, completely crits over by 31's minigun. So that's a nice flash by Seb. And now finally Pizza Police in control. Now Kosuke in the back line gets Pachan somehow. Uh, gonna get killed for his troubles, but that's met down for the attacking team here. Kitty on the back without their medic. All they have to do is either jump in or back out. And they're just kind of really on the fence with this idea. Crime on the flank right now looking for some kills, for some damage. Going in for the medic, he gets one and he does get a kill. Oh dear, they get the pseudo drop of the crits and then they're just losing everyone. Not watching out for the flanks coming through. TS got a big pick on 31 to open it all up. Pan dies again! No! Nebula just goes in behind, just stabs him. And now, even though Kitty has the control of the point, Seb has a massive advantage over the other medic. And they might yet still win this. Going on the point is the red team with Redwood on top of it. Going in the nice band being exchanged with no medic for the blue team for a foreseeable future. That's going to be very difficult, but Seb is just so overextending! Oh, everyone dies around Redwood to the sniper. Uh, just everyone else that spam, really. Everyone's dying on his team. The, o the overtime means nothing that they're going to get from this. Everyone's alive, and that's going to be the first round for Kitty. Oh, Seb, what are you doing, my man? I know you're you're basically in control of the situation, but there's no need for you to be jumping around the point willy nilly. Fansky with the top score. That's kind of the story of that match. So what happens if you stand on a point with the enemy sniper alive in the middle of a sideline and not respecting him when he's owning you? <laughs> it's a very difficult situation for for pizza, but they're still they're still winning this one. They're still two points up, one point for uh, Kitty's back in Bardami right now. Now both teams just kind of clashing on the middle point. Kitty once again trying to go for the aggressive push with TS in the back line, like a clean up poker as well. Now Boshi finds Vondo and Redwood there on the flank as well. That's no demo man. Now Kosuke gonna go down. A lot of kills being exchanged here, Gamma. Oh, it's just an absolute murder fest. Everyone dying. Light Claw should no respect at the start of that mid. Just walked forward and killed Redwood for absolutely no reason. Wasn't punished at all. Both meds go down pretty much at the same time. Pahan dying in the act of killing Nebula as his revenge. Uh, but enough players left alive for Kitty to finish off the cap, if nothing else. Now both medics basically low on uber charge, low, low on charge, anything can happen and everything in the side of Pizza Please. Now Nebula gets a kill on the crime, that's important, no devil man for Kitty. Going to point is Shades with Redwood trying to get the cap done, and uh, the point really caps fast, and now as we see it, it's done right now. Nebula gonna get cleaned up in the back one as well for his troubles, still neither medically has the Ubercharge, Sebs is getting really damaged in the back line by Boshi and uh, Poker, but he's gonna go back out. And now Fundo finds a kill onto Poker, a lot of kills being exchanged, but the point still belongs to Pizza Police. Should point out that Seb's actually switched back to the stock med. He's actually just about keeping up with Pahan in terms of building. He, if he's lucky, he'll get his Uber just as the first crit sticky is launched, which could be a little bit of a a little bit of a butt clenching time altogether. <laughs> but yeah, Pahan 100, Seb's 100. Red team is missing a few players here. Bosch looking for a kill, but he's just gonna get sniper troubles with Fundo. 5k streak, Uber's coming out, but there's not many players to be found. Red was the only one who's the recipient of this. And there's Flowey on the point right now, just getting completely cleaned up there. The demo goes down from TS, and now Kitty is going back with their revengeance on the point right now. They have the right kills. Redwood is down for count, and now just going really aggressively on the flag right now here. Boshi looking for the heavy, gets it, but he dies for his troubles as well. Uh, Sebastiani is still out of kicking, so, well, that's one for one at least. Uh, just because you get forced because you see a crit sticky coming towards you doesn't mean you walk directly into a pyro at the same time. It just about, I mean, everyone dies, and Seb dies again to Fansky, Oof. so now they're going to have full crit's disadvantage. A Fundo on an 8k popping off here, not really been talking about him all that much. 9k, excuse <laughs> me, killing everyone on the team, Nebula just gunning people down from distance in the background, total disrespect. But there's not a lot of numbers left alive, crime goes down to Nebula, they could just dry push this. And now if Pizza Pahan Police... dies again! What? Nebula? Finds a kill in the back line there from Revolver, from Nebula, somehow, somewhere, someone actually got the kill here. Found the finally getting killed, ending his kill streak is Finske, the other sniper. Point finally getting capped by the red team here. Uh, Pizza Police struggling really to get this one going. Finske with another kill on the shade. This is just a sniper fest all around. 
Oh, uh, it's it's not just a sniper fest. I mean, I think both teams at this point have acknowledged that their medics are just gonna die. Speaking of it, Boshi's going for it, looking for Seb if he can. Doesn't get, but he's gonna get cleared up by the spam <laughs> nonetheless. And everyone's just gonna die to the follow-up coming in from the spam the crime is dealing. But Shade is killing him at the same time. Nebula is still with that gun in the background, doing a huge amount of work. Oh, Fondo getting scoped in, taking down Poker, Tr looking for Pahan, he's just a little bit too jittery for his taste here, now Boshi is on top of that sniper, might be able to find him, no, he gets cleaned up, but he does so much damage, now Redwood and Fondo barely breathing right now, waiting for that medic to reunite with him, but Seb is still down for the count, now 31 goes down as a result of that, no heals for the side of Red, but they're getting so many kills, how is that possible, Shades, Kasuke actually getting killed in that exchange here, but only two people up for the blue team, and one of them is on the point right now, the other one behind. Oh, Poker's so low, they're gonna finish him off and get the cap with Seb of all people. I think at this point, both teams have just kind of... I've, I've said it, like, the medics are not an issue in this in this game at all. Both teams are just suiciding over and over again for their medics, and their medic gets killed in retaliation, and the point gets traded over. It's just absolutely mental, fast-paced stuff here. And it's really difficult for us to keep up with this, as 31's being now healed by uh, the medic here, Zeb is alive, Red is getting it rare as well, a lot of damage being exchanged, but Meef is just on the point, he's not being controlled, and the point now is in control of Kitty, somehow, somewhere, as they're going on the point right now, there's a little bit of a lag going, but uh, they are looking at an aggression uh, coming here from the pizza police, now holding the point themselves, not a lot of people from Kitty to stay alive and defend it, now Pahan on 90% uber charge, but so is Seb. Both Max and Uber Charge we might be looking at Uber Charge exchange very, very soon here. Again, must be reminded Pahan is permanently on crits. He's looking for that hero sticky. He misses it. They're just going to use the invulnerability in on it. Getting everyone flashed so none of them die. Spam them all out, but they're losing people at the same time. Getting important kills. Hooker the first of them. And that's very important here on the defense right now. 25 seconds to go. Says the king, a little bit of a damage, a little bit of a scare from the red team of crime. Flowey on the front line there, looking for something. Pahan still alive, still healing his team. That's very crucial here. Flowey trying to push people off, but gonna get killed himself. Looking to get the spam out, but they're all clumped up, man. It's your dream. They're all tanking the damage, but Michael is walking on. He's going to get backstabbed for his troubles, but all of Kitty are dying. They have some respawn and a sniper overlooking the point, but they have so much capture time. Oh, but here's another head kill by Seb, taking down the spy. There's a lot of uh, damage and chaos going on the point. Kitty does not have the play. Now, Meef is the only one who actually gets Kosuke but gonna get cleaned off, and that's 3-1 to one to decide if Pizza Police claiming themselves the Koth product map, which is surprisingly enough, Kitty's pick. Well, I mean, that's the story of this final so far. You don't win your own map pips. Your map, map, map pips? Map, map picks. Map pips. Can I speak properly, please? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Uh, I just, I love that game. I love this game. It's fantastic. That was just crazy. Everything about it. Absolutely mental gameplay. It's exactly what you want to see from Cotmap as a spectator, if nothing else. But man, I would hate to have been a medic on either team in that game. So oh difficult because God. everyone's so hungry for kills. Everyone's looking for the best situation possible. Everyone just kind of leaves you there. And you just you simply don't have anybody to, to, to protect you. So you basically walk and dispense it or just waiting to get picked off. But in the end, it didn't matter for Pizza Police who claimed themselves to win. Now we're taking a look at the logs right now and Finske Fondo, both at the top of the list with 34 and 33 kills respectively, followed up by Kosuke with 32 and the Nebula with 31. So all of them being the pick classes, just completely popping off this game. Uh, that was definitely every time you looked at you looked and you saw oh Seb is dead and you're like oh never mind Kosuke is in the air and Nebula is behind Pahan. Pahan is definitely going to die in the next second, <laughs> just without fail every single time. There was that one point in time as well where Fundo went on near enough a ten kill streak, just completely uncontested, and it's crazy how players can just enter that zone, you know, mm. and then there's nothing, nothing anyone can do to stop you. Yeah, basically, if you don't dedicate a player or two to just be on the sniper duty, like, you're just going to be killed over and over again, and you better get used to the respawn screen, because you're going to be seeing it a lot. But just looking at the bottom of the list, which is very surprising, Pahan with one kill on the spy, but Seb getting three kills onto the enemy spy, that is just something that you don't often see. Medic with a 3k 
on the game, in the game, in the cough map, you can just see how high damaging this game was and how medics also had to kind of get their hands dirty in the carnage that was happening. Two of them with the solemn vow too. I've not seen many medics using that recently, actually. It's an interesting insight, you know. <laughs> when, you pull it, when you pull it out, you know, to whack a spy, you might get some information at the same time. Well, you know, I, I was also considering this when I was playing the Team Fortress 2 competitively in Prem, and honestly, it's a very nice idea because you don't really use your melee that much as a medic to, to be able to tell people's uh, health, but usually if your team really calls well, you won't need it anyway, because the team will tell you how much damage they've done, and you can just kind of figure out who to focus. You're a medic, and you have to stay behind your lines, which means it's going to be very difficult to see the enemy team's uh, health bars as well. That's a lot of information for you to track and it just makes your job a little bit more difficult while cluttering up the comms but they're making it work i mean he gets two kills with it i'm okay with it yeah i mean it, power to you man those those could have been 25 percent of your bruise both times but <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let him away with it for this time he's a better player than me no doubt <laughs> oh you will see i mean we just have a popularity contest he was better but yeah, definitely I mean, him <laughs> we're <laughs> Anyway, we're on to Gleewash, it seems. Last map pick coming out from Kitty, it was, I believe. And, yeah, I mean, this is going to be a very interesting one indeed. This is a Gleewash, this is a 5 CP map. It can honestly be either a very quick wash by either team, or just going for the full 30-minute time mark, which I do believe is going to happen, seeing how both teams play. I think this game, as the two previous ones, is just going to be back and forth all the time. We're not going to see any stalemates. Both teams are just looking for straight-up kills, and both medics are going to be, have a, be having a very, very miserable time. In general, yeah. I mean, it's very possible that this game could go to 30 minutes. It's also very possible that this game could be 5-4 after 30 minutes, you know. it You never really know how Gully Wash games are going to go, especially if you've just seen a product game like that with those two games, or those two players, or teams rather. Oh, I'm just, I'm looking forward to mid fights more than anything else. It's going to be crazy, there's going to be bodies everywhere. People, I'm going to be looking at them and I'm going to be like, why are you there? And then they're going to pull off a 3k, and I'm going to be like, okay, well, you've just been completely vindicated. Speaking of, uh, who's going to win this game? Here we have a straw poll in the chat, getting you a little bit more involved. Please let us know, who do you think is going to take this one last map of the season for Div 1? Who's going to take the championship home? Who's going to walk away with a silver medal? Let us know in the chat. There's a straw poll link. Please do um, fill it. And let's see, in the end, if you were right. I mean, it honestly, in my opinion here, looking after the first game, I thought, you know, Kitty has this. But then looking how Pizza Police played on Koth, on Kitty's pick... I'm just, I just don't know anymore. Honestly, I could never be any more unsure as to who is going to win this game as with this one. I predicted uh, like Claw and Fansky pound, and I feel like actually what ended up happening was exactly what I said Pizza Police needed to do. Neither players, I mean, obviously Fansky top fragged, but he died a lot too. And Mike Claw never really managed to pop up to the pop up to the extent that he did on Bad Order of all places. So it'll be interesting to see if Kitty can get them back into the game here. Because if they can, you know, this is a pretty decent scout map if you have the space to use. And Light Claw is definitely capable of using it. We're waiting for both teams to ready up. The red team is now just missing one player. That's Pizza Police, just kind of cost the case, taking a little bit of a break. You have to remember, and not many people actually talk about this, but mental fortitude is just as important as playing together teamwork and personal skill when it comes to playing this game competitively. Because Highlander especially, but Team Fortress 2 is known to have very long games and games that are just very high in tension, very high in action and high in reflex. And that really wears you out. If you don't have the mental and physical fortitude to kind of survive this, like even if you're popping up the first game or the second game, the third one is just going to be very rough and both teams are just going to be very tired. Just compare this to the last 25 minutes of a football game. Everyone's just tired. No one really wants to run anymore. So both teams just kind of slap dash, you know, just trying to kick the ball into the net. And I do believe with how high action, how octane the last two games were, this is just going to be that period of a football match. It's going to be those last 25 minutes or 30 in terms of, like it's, it's uh, you know, it's 5 CP. It's golly wash. So it's going to be 30 minutes of just kind of people getting really tired and making more mistakes than they were making before. 
that's another problem with having Gully Wash as your last map as well. You know, it's probably, I would say, second only to steel in terms of the amount of clear comms and clear communication you're going to need. And because of that, particularly when you're after playing two games of Bad Order and a pretty long game of product, are you going to be able to concentrate enough to pull off the plays that you need to to win this game? That's going to be the question here. But this is, you know, the way you've got to approach it. It's the last map. It's basically best of one map now. Whoever wins this wins the league. Yeah, and just before the game starts here, still waiting on Kosuke to join up with us. I'm going to use this time to plug ourselves in. Please do visit merch.com critscast.com for that sweet sweet clothing you always need in your life uh, really does help us out a lot producing this and bringing this game especially this game to you as well as patreon.com if you really wish to help us out more directly and of course you can always just subscribe on the twitch chat it really does help us as, as well and will allows us and we too to keep producing the content to the game we all love here all these players connected all us in this casting booth as well as the people in the chat we all love this game and well helping us making it better is always nice Shout out to Weedhoofed again. This has been a long game to produce. He's picking up pretty much everything that I'm not seeing. Weedhoofed is insane. I mean, he's literally been just doing this for over a year now. I think it's like coming up two years, I do believe. I'm just going to get a shout out from Weedhoofed. Is it two years now? It's close to two years that he's been producing. And he's just, it's a machine, not a man. He's just took two weeks break and we all felt his, his missing. Like his absence was really noted by all of us. So, really big shoutouts for him, but we are going into this game right now. Both teams readied up. Now, Crime is really fast to mid. Once again, Redwood were kind of lagging behind, is spamming some stuff. But, wow, I'm actually getting there in the back line, going on the banana here. This is actually a strat that I've heard about that they've used, that they pretty much all just go choke. Like, their entire team. You pretty much never see this. You always have someone contesting their side. It's interesting, but they're going to lose everyone at once. They're all taking the same spam because of it. And the most important thing of all, Pahan dies there. He did actually run crits to mid, which is interesting. And they get sniped there by the sniper Flinske. On top of that, here Seb is now going with the team on the second. As mid is not even capped yet, but they want to establish themselves on the second point. Now Redwood is there already in the river, just spamming it up, making sure that no one gets through. And they might not actually notice this Finske like Law looking at it. Oh, Bosh is so close, but he's safe, just jumping in. But he misses the jump. He just pet busts the thing and just gets completely mowed down to 31. They're going to have to be careful of Fansky here in River. He's sitting. He's going to be sitting all the way back. No, he actually backed out of it altogether. He was keeping a close eye on them. That could have been a really dangerous sideline to cross. Now the red team is pushing down the river. Whole team early pop. That's okay as they have the advantage going in with the jump is cause okay. Now nice step by Nebula. Blue team has kind of to scramble around. Crime getting really damaged. They're gonna go down. Pahan's low on health as well. No, he's still alive. But the Uber has been kind of dismantled there, dude. Cop is almost done here. 31 is still alive there in the background, but Poker is there to make sure he's not alive to get this cap done. As for Salt Kitty actually saving themselves the last end going in the second. Whoa, whoa, wipe coming out for Pizza Police there, but they do get Pahan <laughs> at the very least. He's going to come up at roughly the same time as Seb. But the crucial thing there was they tried to send people under, which is what you do when you're pushing from River. You try to get your heavy underneath if you can. But Flowey was there, and Flowey just air blasted them all into the sky, and they couldn't get under there. And then by the time they got there, Poker was already there with their Uber pretty much already denied. They all just died one by one then. But again, as I said, they got the crucial kill on Pahan. Crime goes down here to Nebula. Interesting pick. That's an important pick here as well. Poker now actually killing Nebula there as a, as a retaliation of the whole blue team trying to hold this wave of red as here Sebastian with his team just pushing in. They have slight advantage over Pahan, but Kitty is just losing players left and right. This is what I'm talking about. This, this fatigue is coming into play right now. They've been playing full throttle for two maps and now the third map, which is going to be a long one. They're kind of struggling to get any kind of footing going uh, losing crime there is bad you're losing your demo one you really shouldn't be holding that close to choke really and then they lose one more and then another one and then another one and here comes the uber from oh. river as a consequence of it redwood trying to get the damage off but that recoil coming from the mini is actually massive and they're going with the uber charge as well on the point trying to defend this and there's a late pop coming out of the blue team 
chasing down the people on the river right now. But there's still some red people lingering. Redwood here, Shade, Shade as well. Going on the point, Jusa as well. Kosuke, they're still alive somehow looking. But she's the last one alive, but he's gonna get cleaned up. The go point goes down to the way of the red. First point of the set goes to the way of Pizza Police. Everyone was weak there, but crucially, Seb stays alive. He's able to heal them even by a little bit, just 10 or 20. It's all that they needed to just get kill the remaining players. And that is enough to see them get the, the lead here in this last map. Now, both teams once again readied up. Kitty on the back foot, losing one point here is still okay. They still have four to go for the enemy team. Uh, changing up their strategy, going down the enemy banana this time. Uh, doing a lot of spam of crime. Now we're getting a little bit separated onto the launch bus, gonna get spammed out as well. Now the nice bump coming out of Kosuke, getting down the Finske and Flowey there on the side as well. But Pahan still alive and kicking, still able to heal up the team. And well, they're capping the point here. Kitty, we're just gonna get punished there, but no, Jusa pushing in, almost getting Pahan killed, but Meef is there to just NG it up. I'm not actually sure, but Crime is using the half Satoichi. If you pull that out when you're under the health cost, do you just die? Because. Okay, no, because he pulled it out just when he was about to die to spam. Uh, he managed to get the arrow anyway, but here comes Zebra in from Redwood, forces it early. But the multi-flash coming out from Pan, and Redwood's kind of stuck in. Oh, he's just going like, to get cleaned up as a result of this. And now, Red Team is actually doing really nice, bad, you know, fadeaway push here. Cleaning up Rez for their trouble. 31 is still alive, and they're just pushing up the Seattle as well. Pokers in that choke point, spamming the Medic, snapping the Heavy. Uh, but he's still alive. Oh, but what a kill by Fondo. Getting down Pahan, so important. And that's going to be by so much time. Your Boshi trying to look for Seb. But Seb is just going to be safe and sound. Now, TS going in. And look at this. There's a complete turnaround. Trying to get down Seb. Seb still, but he's alive and running. I really like how Pizza Police played that. They get the kill on the medic and then they expect the aggression. They all bunch up around their medic. They have a heavy and a scout on him. They're gonna lose Redwood actually. They're not affording him the same level of protection as Seb is getting. Now, this time here, once again still, Pizza Police holding the middle point. They have the Uber charge. Pahan is not. They're going in with immediately, but there's no blue team to kill. That was a little bit too overzealous coming as Seb. Chasing now kills. They're trying to go all the way to the garage door. But there's no one really protecting the second point for being capped. And now Pahan has the advantage, but he's losing plays as a result. 31. Seb actually gonna go down poker somehow. Poker finds a kill. Uh, and another had, one. He had Bushy above him, actually. He did Seb. He got him down really low, and it was just a random spray bullet that killed Seb in the end. But again, Pahan dies, so the trade is perfectly okay. Even though that Uber was pretty much entirely wasted, they <laughs> did manage to make it work somehow. Managing to stop the wraparound play for the most part and finish off the cap. It's impressive play from Pizza Police so far, I have to say. Now Pizza Police has the advantage here, 30% over 10 of Pahan holding the garage door. They're not really too aggressive right now, they're just kind of waiting it out, gathering their strength to push in. Now Tia's gonna get found out, now Boshi looks for a kill, takes down the sentry gun, but that's the only thing now as Shades is on him, gets a kill onto Shades, now Kosuke is on Boshi, finally gonna clean up that kill, but that took a lot of distraction from the red team, they're still holding the garage door, there's a lot of sticky traps holding in there. That's a little bit of a stalemate going, while both men build their ubers it's brave to hold this far forward with an uber disadvantage the stickies are going to get launched all over the place and rest really dies to them but they're going to back off now they've bought enough time i think for them to get back maybe possibly yeah they're going to mostly get back but they still have people really far up on river they're a bit all over the place Oh, Finsky getting cleaned up by Fondo, opening up a lot of room to work with for the red team going down the river right now. Oh, but he goes in and look at this! Sep goes down! Boshi clicks the rocket and drops the med for the attacking team. Somehow he finds that little spot where there were no enemy bodies and finds the kill there. Pa have 100% there, holding last. They may be able to get out of this yet. Oh, Shade looking to try and get something from behind. He's actually going to get poker. Can he kill anyone more? No, the spam coming out on the point is enough to finish him off. Bit of a cheeky play there. Trying to take on a mini sentry, a demo, a pyro, and a heavy all at once. Boshu, oh, man, what a pick. 
Absolute madman once again proving himself to be the soldier on for that team, actually saving the team their last point, claiming the second as a result, and Pahan still has that uber charge. Wing with the late pop here, popping on the point right now, chasing down the red team. 31 getting disconnected, Rez going down as well. Now they're chasing Red and Seb. Red was gonna get really damaged there. Now Seb is in a lot of trouble from Lightclaw, and Lightclaw is not known to be missing some shots, but he does miss those. Gonna get cleaned up by a nice pipe there from Redwood. A middle point goes the way of Kitty. I feel like the phrase, and Pahan dies again, <laughs> is going to be something I'm going to be saying a lot for the next while. Yeah, so those scout ubers are great when you have to chase a little bit further, and Lightclaw got a lot done, but you don't follow him that deep. He gets picked up as soon as the uber fades. Lightclaw just missed the last shot needed, had to switch a pistol, and then didn't have enough damage to finish off the 40 health Seb. A little bit unfortunate, but now the Ubers swing back around again. Need to be careful of a wraparound, actually. Yeah, they're sending Kosuke to choke. They're going with the Uber charge, pushing from the garage door. Really early pop, they don't have to really worry about much, but Flowey's in there, just pushing them away and delaying them enough for Pahan to get away. Now Poker's in there, they're not aware of him. He's really silent with that, that, uh, well, Tomislav going in is pa Poker now, trying to find some kills, but the port second point is being capped by Kitty. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't have enough people that choke. Kosuke wasn't enough to hold it, he ended up having to back off a bit, but now they have to hold back on second with that uber disadvantage. If there's a pyro in front of you in an arrow choke, you've got to shoot him. Oh, but, but not Fondo. projectiles. Fondo, Fondo. With close range shot. Amazing shot there onto Boshi that's just disabling the flank abilities of that class here. Now Flowey just kind of peeking and seeing what the situation is on the on the point. There's not much going on right now as Red Team is setting up on top hold here on the balcony. They don't have the Uber yet, but there's 25% off uh, for them. Pahan still on 100, he still hasn't popped. Going from below, look at this, going for Garage. Yeah, they're going to completely cut them off here if they're not careful. They haven't really backed off. They know it's coming, they've been called, surely. They, they, they expected them to back off to River. But they're gonna have to drop down here. The Uber coming in really early here from Crime, considering the position that they're in. They're directly above them, Seb has oh. now just about a time and lives the initial spam. Now Boshi is in there looking for some kills. He's on Fonda right now, but there is a Seb, very low health. Boshi just needs to connect one rocket onto him. He finds him, he sees him, he gets it! As he's just gonna die for his troubles, but that's met down for the defending team. Now Blue comes in force here. Kitty has the health, has the players, and now has the point. While all of that was going down, Kitty just held lobby like it was their own lobby. This is our ground now, this is our place to hide. And then there was nowhere for Pizza Police to retreat to. They do lose crime here to a lovely stab from Nebula. He's gonna die for his troubles, but there's so little people left alive, they might just lose this. And now actually Pahan gets a nice uber saw pick off of the spy, gets another uber charge in time. Seb's only on 20%, this does not look too bright for the defending team. Pizza is on the back foot, they need to really do something about this TS looking for a stab, but just whiffs it. And now Seb at a massive disadvantage with his team still alive, but well, looking down that uber charge coming from River very soon, that's gonna be very difficult to hold this one. He is still building, like he's at nearly at 60% now. The uber's gonna come in, they're trying to go all under with this, I think. Oh, that's crazy. It looks like it. That is crazy, that is a very ballsy play, they're going in, there's uber charge only 25% off for Seb, popping in early, uber charge coming in on the point, there's no one to cap it yet, but they're just flashing heavily, there's a lot of people just being exchanged here, now Seb's about to get his, a lot of people dying on the point here, Gamma. He just needs someone to heal, he's 99% there, he goes, he has it flashing on everyone, the spy almost gets it, everyone's walked off the point for a split second, but no Seb, oh, no. once he gets it at the very end. How is that even possible? Funski actually finds a sideline on the Zep, getting him down, and Pizza actually looking good. I mean, they got the kills, they got the defense, and now they don't have their medic for their troubles. And right now, they just have to stack people on the point as it goes down so slowly, but gets capped so fast, so dangerous. And seeing how TS loves those back caps, it might be a case here as well. Case in point, as Pahan is going on top of the river's team, neither medic has the uber charge. So, you know, might as well just push and dry. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to do that now as it happens TS gets picked up, they were expecting it. But they're really aggressive in River here, they've got a heavy under the point already. They have to know it's there, Redwood needs to be careful peeking that, yeah he's figured it out. But man, this is on a knife edge right now, Pizza Police make one mistake here and they lose this round.
And that's all the game about mistakes. You have to remember once again, mental fortitude is what plays a key role in here. But Seb, no way he gets body shot by Finske once again. And that gives Pahan full Uber advantage. They have the players, they have the positioning, and now they have the Uber. And now all they need to do is just press W to get this point, and that's what they do. They're going to come in here through Shutter Flash. Everyone make sure none of them takes damage. Redwood's going to be the first important kill. They're just going to walk in the point here, but there's still a fully healed heavy there under the point. Seb's going to just walk towards him. Is that a vaccinator? No, yeah. I think so. Vaccinator coming out from Seb. Is it going to be enough to, to, to defend all the damage coming out here? Oh no, you're just gonna get cleaned up Shade, Seb, and Rez all going down. No one to defend this point. Finally, Kitty getting a foothold in this game. So long into this game as well. That's 15 minutes gone. It's only one point for each side. But what a game we have on our hands here, Gamma. Fansky turned that around. Came up really? with the big, big picks exactly when it was needed. Two crucial picks, one a headshot, one a body shot. It's still a kill as he gets those and basically secures Kitty their win. But now, once again, Kitty's back in Barnami going down actually their banana as, uh, well, there is the red team to meet him there. But there's a lot of people just being disconnected here. Seb, 31 res, and Shades all in their own choke as well as the blue team in their own as well. So there's a little bit of a stare down, a little bit of a um, positional warfare. Looking some kills. came up, drop down. He's got the kill on Fansky. He's gonna get Pan here too. No, Pan's so weak, but he's fallen into drop down. He's completely trapped. Oh no, but he's still alive. How is that even possible? He's still hitting poker, poker. So we're throwing a sandwich. He's still alive. Point now belongs to the red team now. They're getting found out. Poker's still alive, just dropping out of his medic. You know what? I'm going down with this ship, says Poker, as he's just there. They're leaving him alone. <laughs> what is going on here? They know about this and they're just leaving him alone. What the blue team should have done is just kill themselves. There's no reason they're not gonna survive this, but they're just still alive and the red team just leaves them alone. Look at this, Poker's popped. It's gonna use it from behind them. It's gonna be a much worse Uber. Flashing so much, but so Seb actually. They're gonna pick up the important kill and poker there. <laughs> oh, Seb, nice to Fonsky. How is this working? How is Finsky finding these kills? He's just saving his team right now as it was looking very rough for Kitty as Pizza Police was just getting all the kills they need and now there's just a mess going on the last point. No medic is actually alive at this point. It's just people shooting each other on the point light club, finishing off two Redwood Shades and now Tia is finding out a kill on 31. The only person who's alive is Fondo actually getting the kill with the SMG running down the point but he surely is found out. He's just scoping in. He's looking for a kill just gonna get finished off by Finsky instead. What's the disrespect from Vansky not even bothering to scope in? Gonna use the SMG warfare down there. Superior weapon, but oh my god. <laughs> what is going on in this game? It Nobody's just... shooting heavies, man. I think, you know, you said, and, and Pahan goes down, and goes down again. I believe I should be start saying, and Finsky gets set again. Because this is what's happening. Sebastian is not really staying alive that much. He's just getting completely smashed in there by the enemy sniper. And I don't think it's really his fault. I mean, his positioning really plays a huge role. At the same time, his team should really be calling out where the enemy sniper is. Yeah, especially some, you know, obvious positions like when they were holding last. And he just peeked river. That's all he had to do. Just peeked river and got him. That's such an obvious call out. And because he walks so slowly across it, like it should be called a lot faster than that. Actually, like Claw. Walking into an entire team. Hmm. That's curious, but now the team has a Uber charge, popping really early, not making any mistakes here. Seb getting separated from his team. Flowey, he's doing an amazing job here. Boshi on the be side behind crime as well. There's a little fade fadeaway, but if there's so many people in the river, who's going to defend the point? I mean, I liked, I really liked that defense. Up until the point where they forgot that under existed. And uh, Bashi was in, yeah. Know. Bashi was behind the entire time, and he was just waiting for a good opportunity. And once this Uber came out, and Floyd just went in, separated the medic from the rest of his team. Bashi just came in to claim the kills, and now it's two v one for the Pizza Police, looking really strong as coming up to the to this middle point. They've gone with another aggro rollout here up onto Pizza Police's side, and that's working. There's no positioning here for Pizza Police at all. They're basically holding second at this point already. And now Light Claw in oh. on the mech. Gets him with the last shot of his life. <laughs> How is that even possible? He's like, it's getting class. He literally just killed him half a second before he died himself. And they're buying Kitty a lot of time to work with. Oh, so disappointing when that happens. They've got to know what's going to happen here. Pahan actually just about survives an attempt on his life there from <laughs> Shade. 
Uh, Shade, they're really aggressive at getting cleaned up by the by the Paul Poker. Poker is just not really having it right now. And Crime, well, this is the only time you speak about Crime as being good. Is just he's doing so much work, and now he's just gonna lead this charge here, going of the Uber charge, being just really aggressive. There's no red team to be seen. 31 is on the point, just protecting, but there's Uber charge coming out. He's not gonna do much. Seb is on 40%. He's not gonna get his anytime soon. There's a lot of people are swarming the point, but the blue is losing this one. Uh, they were using it, then they got managed to get the damage on Redwood. They just need to kill them at the sign. The sign's too powerful, man. <laughs> and now it's just Pahan just shooting people on the point. There's a mini sentry as well, but there's no one to be on point physically, which means it's not going to get capped anytime soon. But once again, Kitty showing what they can do with those amazing picks of theirs. Now Pahan's getting separated. Shades on top of Poker. Poker's going to go down, but finally the blue team reunites with his medic. If Shades picked another target, he could have gotten the medic, but he went for the Poker instead. I mean, the rest of... Um the rest of Pahan's team was coming through a big door at that point, so you gotta pick whatever targets you can get going. But man, it's a sign. It's a sign. It's just a sign. It's a, it's a literally, it's a literal sign. As the last point is halfway done, still ticking down. Blue team is just breathing down Pizza Police. Now Kitty is in a good position right now. They do have a slight disadvantage of 30 percent right now, but they are in good position. They have the people to work with. They just need to wait a little bit longer to get the supercharge going and maybe, maybe even look for Seb once again. I like the sentry coming out. It's pretty standard. It's gonna watch behind the point. It's gonna probably help to slow down some river pushes but most importantly it kind of sort of watches that sniper sideline a little bit speaking of sniper goes down fancy picked up Ooh. by kasuke finally finally said can brief because honestly if i was the medic in that position i would just be scared for my life now redwood being really aggressive night medic really wanting to go out with their uber charge and i do believe the ball is in the court of kitty right now poker is just rolling up trying to look for some kills crowder as well flowey going from the flank but most of the team just holding there. Now Boshi takes down Nebula, the spy down, no more information for the red team. Holding down the river is KT, and they're just kind of waiting, but what, what for? An opening of some sort, but there it is. There's the sniper kill, but they lose their own in exchange for it, I suppose. Uh, they were trying to get some spam onto the sentry with pretty much their entire combo, which is why Nebula went for went for the stab. We're going to get the sap on it now, actually, and the sentry goes down. And as so crucial, four people up for the attacking team. They're looking for something else, looking to get set pop. Crime is looking for it, but he's just gonna get spammed out by Flowey, Redwood, Nebula, and just the whole rest as the whole team just pushing down the second point. Somehow she's get back out there. Uh, that's finally freeing up a lot of room for the red team to work with. Now Leaf looking for Seb, just gonna get burned down. And now Seb is in a good position with only four people up for the blue team. They cannot really do much with this and may have to defeat the middle point as well. They need to be careful not to drop here, though, is the main thing. They'd like to not have to use, but you cannot afford to drop here, but they've left big door open a little bit. Poker's just trying to see what he can get going here. And he's going to pick up one. Boshi's going to follow him in as well while the exchange is going in on mid, but Redwood dies before anything can really be done. Seb gets forced, but it's only on res, and there's a whole lot of stuff happening in big door. At the same time, Kitty just making an absolute mess of that attempted push. Yeah, but somehow Pizza they're winning Police. this. They're winning this somehow. Seb is actually getting attacked by Boshi. One rocket, two rockets. What a surf, but not enough. Is Kosicki going to go down as well? Boshi with a nice double K with the help of TS. Actually claiming the kill for the last one there. But yeah, Kitty actually, somehow they, they were at disadvantage. They didn't have the Uber charge. And out of that mess, they came out victorious once again. They have a second point, And the Uber charge is about 100. Whereas Seb is not even respawning. He just hit respawn. And well, they're just going to go immediately in. They are, one, they are ahead, that's the one silver lining, there's just under 8 minutes left in this game. Is the Uber going to come in through, from Crime in from under the shutter there. They're picking up a lot of kills in the meantime though on the non shiny players. Crime's going to get reflected away. There's only 4 of them left alive, really only just Crime and Pahan left in. Pahan dies! Crime <laughs> follows fairly quickly afterwards. Wow, how is that even possible? I don't understand, Kitty had everything going for them well and just... I think that the case was that Fondo managed to get find a kill on to the Pyro immediately off the gate. As soon as they passed and they popped the Uber charge, the Pyro was not flashed and just got smashed in the head. And if you don't have a Pyro on the last, you can't really air blast people away. Even if you have the Uber charge, you can't really do much. In that case, uh, it was just that. It's just the Pyro going down and the, the rest of the push was just complete mess. Speaking of Pyro, Flow is actually in behind them. They know he's there because he walked through choke and killed Fundo for absolutely no reason at all. The high bomb from Kosicki gets nothing done. He just jumps up in the skybox. 
Chloe will get picked up here behind them, but he just wasted so much time. Crime's actually in through choke here, doing a lot of damage. Bomb coming in from Koski onto Pahan, who's so weak. Can he get the last rocket he needs? No, he blows oh. himself up. No way, Pahan solo, 20 HP there, just kind of running around looking for his sandwich to find. Just a sneeze will kill him. Uh, he's gonna get a little bit of that health back from his natural regeneration. Four people up for the red team right now. Once again, pushed their way back all the way to their own spot, but Seb is alive. He's keeping out the Uber charge, so that at least there's something going for the pizza police. They've been holding this last point very well so far, but one mistake could just cause a like an avalanche of, of problems. Paham drops! No way. Well, he dies just before he gets super, but I'm counting that as a drop. <laughs> the last time around, they were too slow pushing. This time around, they push before they have Uber, they lose their medics, they're losing everyone. Crime dies to the mini sentry in the background. They're trying to keep Seb alive with this full Uber charge. They don't have to use it to take back second here. Just an absolute mess at their attempts to push last. Uh, it's, I think they're just getting a little bit too happy trigger, or trigger, trigger happy is the proper term. Uh, and they just want to get this point done already, and you just have to wait. This game on 5CP is a game of patience. There's two on last. No! Oh, oh, they just don't get him in time. That could have been it. Just 31 there. That could have been it. Now, Kosuke is just looking for spy, but spy is just going to get away because he's invisible because that's fair. TS is just going to reunite with his team, but the third middle point actually still belongs to Kitty. Second has been claimed by Pizza. As well, both teams tired. Us tired. This game seems to never end. There's still five minutes to go. Five minutes to go. They have the Uber advantage. They're pushing up the elbow this time. And this time, there is no Pyro to the mine. We're going to kill Pyro at the very least. Not really get any other significant kills. And Seb so <laughs> goes down to 8 HP. There's a back cap attempt going on here. Half of Kitty just kind of walking behind them here. Trying to see what can get done. The mini's doing work. It's just Boshi left alive. <laughs> He's got to get blocked Ooh. by the pyro and scared. Everyone dying, but wasting so much time. Oh no, but Seb! Once again, Fenske just kills him, claims the kill for himself, and gets another onto Redwood. That's two of the combo classes going down, and another one on Jose. What is going on with this man? All the all the impetus now has to be with Kitty. They have these picks now. They managed to get Seb. They have not much of an Uber advantage once Seb starts healing, but they have no time. Four minutes left if they mm. want to avoid a golden cap, but four minutes left if they just want to get that golden cap going. They're two on down. Crime getting so weak trying to push there. They're picking up kills and it's not important ones though. Poker goes down for an exchange. But Finske is just popping off this time. He's just claiming the kills. He's a 5k streak. He's looking down the river right now. He might find another kill just shooting in. But Nebula is behind. Gonna decloak. Gets a kill to Seb before he dies. Oh, what is going on right now, dude? Oh, uh, they're not punishing this man. He's they just allowed. Aren't. Yeah, he's just allowed to walk in there. Gets a kill on the sniper. And just before Nebula claims the kill, he just gets the medic. And that's on defense. And Kitty has everything going for them. They have 100% Uber charge. They have people in the right places. They're surely, surely going to cap this now. The vaccinator strat again from Seb here to try and counter the complete disadvantage they're at. They might get one charge at the very least. Trying to see if they can keep anyone alive. The denies. Rez is keeping them all in the shutter. Rez is just resurrecting the hopes of his team right now. So many people dying, Pahan dies again. As Flowey as well, a lot of people dead for the blue team. Timer is not in favor of the blue right now. Okay, it needs to do something. They have everything going, but that last point execution is lacking so much. Finske is the only one who can actually save this round. He's just looking for something. He might be looking for another kill on Seb. He's in the river shooting down. Uh, Seb probably knows about this now, and he's just gonna hide on point. They need to stay on it as the point is halfway done. They almost lost that point there. Poker came up from underneath the point with Light Claw, and he, I think they got two or three players between them. Nearly got enough, but the medic stayed alive, healed the ones who were still there. Uh, it's worth noting that Seb switched back off <laughs> Vaccinator to stock Medigun, as you can probably expect. Two minutes, 20 seconds left here. What do you do if you're Pizza Police? You have the advantage, but do you risk it? I don't think so. There's two minutes to go. There's, it's not worth risking. It's better to just entrench yourself on last point, build up as much defense as you can. Now TS looking for something in the back line, just gonna get burnt down and killed down by 31 actually. And now Meef is just gonna go down, we'll kill Nebula, so both spies down. It's just gonna be park the bus, wait for the enemy team to come, see what happens. Kosuke, 
is looking for something on the flank, but no, no. Well, he finds Finske, that's one. That's no sniper for the attacking team. One minute, minute and, and a half to go right now. Finske was in a really weird position there. He was actually in water. Bit, of, bit strange for a sniper. They're gonna get the sentry gun as an entry pick here, if nothing else. Looking to see if they can get people under. Here they go. Heavy is under. And Spy should have been called out there in TS. But they're still not pushing. Everyone's going under again. Oh, it could be very dangerous. 31 notices it, just backs away. He knows he can fight poker with a medic. And here, Rez actually gonna go and just burn people down on the flank. Just look, just waiting the enemy team down. But no, no, me! What's the kid Seb? He gets the kill just before the blue team pushes, and they do it right now. Going on the point, just flashing everybody. Three people now up for the red team, and the point is scared. How is that possible? Vince Someone game. tell Pizza Police that River exists. Or from Maine, or wherever it was. Vince He's killed game. him so many times now. Oh my god, Finske, I'm sorry, I just need to kill this this mosquito, but holy crap, Finske is absolutely popping off this one. 2-2-2, two, 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 40 seconds to go, it's dead time, both teams just kind of not caring anymore as this one goes all the way to the golden cap. Oh, oh that's just painful to watch. This is as, so as someone painful. who's played Medic a lot this year. But it's that so well deserved. Painful. It's so well deserved for Kitty. They were struggling in the last point. Pizza Police doing amazing with the defense. And that kill, that one crucial kill by Finske onto Seb, dropping the Uber charge, and immediately right after it was called, the blue one comes out, going for the last point. That was the play to do. Now the, the game is officially over now. Both they teams on the, two <laughs> and two. They go with the pirate crits there, <laughs> just to. Uh... Just to end up the game nicely, make Rez's lot look better. A game that was... I can't believe what I'm seeing. Honestly, it's one of the most entertaining games I've seen in a very, very long while. If not in my whole career, as both teams are just so hungry for the first place. They both are so equally matched, and now Finsky just kind of saving the team somehow. Somewhere he finds the kills he needs on the Seb. But we're still up for the golden cap, I do believe. I'm not sure what the ruling is because we rarely really reach the golden cap. No time to no time limit first one to cap. If you cap this point, you win. So it honestly could go on for another 30 minutes if both teams are really hell-bent on winning this one. Yeah, I mean we were talking there in the last three minutes, you know, they decided no risks. We have the overcharge, we're gonna sit on last and turtle. This is the ultimate, do you take risks here? Or do you play it ultra safe? This is the real test of it here. It didn't work for Peter Police last time to play it safe. I think it's it's down to what do we do about Finske? If, if we still let him do what he's doing right now, might as well just forfeit this game. He's, this man is absolutely unstoppable and he gets Seb every time he sees him. It's so very difficult to play against a sniper who is playing that well. And he's just not missing any shots either. And I just don't know what else he can do. Just did, like dedicate two people on him, hoping that one of them actually tanks the shot or something like that. I don't know. But I will have a quick look at the logs, maybe just look at the story yep. of the game. Yep. Yep. Just beside, you know, important picks. It's insane, man. I just can't really fathom how is that even possible, how those teams are playing and how well closely matched they are. Oh, big shade with the 47 kills. Oh my god. <laughs> Following up with Kosuke with 38, Light Claw with 34, Rez with 28. You know, it's something that I didn't think about during the game, but that flank dominance, it was actually really important for Pizza Police in how they won their rounds and mm. overall. Mm. I believe but so, yes. Strangely enough, the rounds they or the points that they lost usually happened when either Kosuke or Shady or dead. Well, really, Lightlaw is also up there. I mean, he's 34 kills as opposed to 47 on the side of Shades, but you're right. If if your flank is doing an amazing job, then you basically never have to worry about the enemy team. You kind of do your own thing, you go with your own pushes, play the meta, and you're fine. And I think that, that the flank dominance really played out on those last pushes. With Shades and Kosuke really working together and picking off people before they even reached last point when uh, Pizza Police was defending, uh, that was crucial play. And that really allowed Pizza Police to hold on to those last points 
points for a very long time. Unfortunately, Finske was in there as well, and he made sure that Seb is not alive to see the light of day. He's not alive to see the point getting blocked, and as a result, the Uber charge, Pahan just going with his force, just cleaning up everybody, and with three people alive, you can't really defend this point. Even with that, though, even with the pick on Seb, the drop on Seb, rather, with them underneath the points having to flash a lot, they still kind of sort of made a meal out of it. You know, they really seem mm. to have a lot of trouble pushing this last point. And, you know, if we want to get into predictions here, even though, even though, you know, this is going to be a huge mental win for Kitty to be like, okay, we won that. We managed to pull that back. They're, they're struggling to push last. Really makes me think that Pizza Beast might pull this off. If they keep up the good defense and protect Seb a little bit more, I think Pizza Police has this. But if Finske is just unprotected and, well, he is not controlled by the enemy team, I think Kitty has this as well. It's really down to both teams realizing what their mistakes are, realizing what the enemy mistakes are, and then just while defending your own mistakes and trying to work on them, trying to exploit the enemy mistakes. I think it's down to that. Whichever team really makes the more intelligent choice, more reasonable choice, will take this one home. I mean, in anything that involves strategy, that's pretty much the essence of it, really. Realizing your own flaws, trying to cover them up as best you can, while also utilizing your strengths. And there's no doubt about it, you know, one of the strengths for Kitty was Fansky getting the important kills at the exact right time every single time and the strength then in comparison for Pizza Police was having your flank bait your combo and then kill everyone well so still, there you go. we're still waiting for both teams to ready up I think they just need a little bit of a breather after this but we are getting a call from Wheat on the production that they're alive in 90 seconds so we're about to start the final of the most final slash final edition of that final game of etf 2 l Season Div 16. You cannot get any further into the game, in this game, in Highlander as this. Down to a golden cap in the final game of the season between Kitty's back at Bardami and Ugandan Pizza Police. It's not the final season, though. That's that's the that's the only thing that's not final about it. <laughs> well, it depends, man. If if both teams actually really stay together, then it's not going to be a final season for them. But if if a defeat here is going to be crucial and crushing enough for one of the teams, well, they might need to disband and look for another opportunities. But let's hope that does not happen, as both teams really and genuinely deserve the spot in prep, no matter the outcome of this game. I would. Be very happy to see, you know, whichever team didn't win in the Prem qualifiers, to be honest. Mm. You know, these are really, really good players. They we all could deserve have, the opportunity. We could have an amazing Premiership season next season with uh, strong opinions, with uh, Fela Esports, and then if these two teams really do get in, that's just going to be an amazing season to watch for the future. But now, we're ready. It's Golden Cap, boys. Katie Bak and Bagan Bardami versus the blue team here, Ugandan Pizza Police. Take it away, Redwood. <laughs> Fucking Gamma, sorry. <laughs> I'm tired, I man. I'm so not tired. Not the Redwood, man. As it happens, right. Redwood not really getting much done this mid. It looks like Crime's getting all the positioning, all the spam. It, the entire mid is really looking good for Kitty here, but they haven't really finished it off. They haven't got really big picks. Fransky is the big one. Crime goes down to Nebula. Now things could turn. Redwood just walking across the point. Poker goes down to Fundo as well. Going large. This is when you need to go large. Three up. Pahan going to die at the very end. Really late death on medic, on mid in a golden cap. That's the last thing you want. As Vondo finds that kill, the last fadeaway has to just have a complete crushing advantage over the enemy team here. Seb, 95%. They have a whole team, but Diaz gets Seb. How is that even possible? He finds the kill. Those watching him and the Uber did. He was not even reaching that 100% and really just buys Kitty that little bit of hope they need right now as both medics just respawning Pahan with a little bit of an advantage but still defending last sentry level 2 it's all down to the wire here TS was behind the whole mid he's basically the only survivor from it they had to know that you know your medic is full but you know he's gonna go for him protect your med better guys but even with that you know they had the 40% disad but again here's the crux of the matter do you push out here if you're Kitty 
I don't think this is the right choice unless you have the uber advantage or you can really uh, allow yourself to just make this mistake to leave the point on guard you have to stack people on top of it and he gets the kill onto 31 he was looking for the medic but he just backed away towards the garage without the heavy just backing away they need to be safe and be sure that they're not gonna lose their medic as a result now uh, Seb is really afraid of Finske this time yeah crime was actually he was going to go help them cap the point there but he sees that the entirety of Pete's police are in big door and he immediately goes to cover that lower entrance but a quick nebula they spotted him he was in behind them in lobby he could have decloaked there he had an opportunity but he would have been spotted midpoint still belongs to the red team but barely Seb is about to get his 100% Fondo finds a nice kill on Finske with a 5k streak on his uh, sniper rifle right now freeing up a lot of room and right now Pahan and his team just kind of backing away from the from the choke they're looking into it but they're not really too confident about going in they don't really want to push out and wait for the enemy team, enemy team to make the first uh, move here Fondo is really scoping in but there's just no one really uh, showing themselves now Nebula is looking for a good opportunity but if we flow around he cannot find an opening onto Pahan I mean, the traditional thing is when you're when you're holding second and you're holding mid, the onus is technically on the mid on the team holding mid to push, but both teams realistically are going to wait here, look for all kicks they can possibly get. TS in on the mid, <laughs> but Fransky, it just makes a space for Fransky to peek. Big door of all things, they're going to Uber in through here. They're just not controlling Fensky at all. They're just going with the charge. Poker just cleaning up the space uh, with uh, Lightclaw to boot. And now Crime just gets a couple of kills as well to his account here as they're capping the midpoint. Kitty's back in Bardami. Pahan still alive, getting damaged in the back line, but he's half health and alive, however. Oh, but the Shade's looking for some kills. He's just getting completely out damaged by Meef and Lightclaw double combo. But now Nebula looking for something else in the background that's gonna get cleaned up as well. That delays Kit quite a bit onto the second point, allowing the red team to set themselves up. But look at this how Poker is just all by himself on the second point. He's just without the carry in the world, he's just holding there, no red team to be seen. And well oh, said is it as a bench. Jusa, what what happened? He killed himself, there's no sentry frost. How, how did he do that? Was he behind the enemy lines? I think that's the only reasonable um, explanation in this right now. I'm not Possibly sure, but I didn't see him. no Jusa, which means no Sentry on the last point. And now Pahan, 80% Uber charge, set on 60. That is just not looking very good for the red team. They have a, he's back up, he gets to level on Sentry, and as happens, it's the thing that saves them from the spot cap. TS does get 31, though, before he dies. And now, no heavy. They have poker under already. They're just getting ready. To finally push this, maybe Fansky this time he's carrying a snipe, Fundo gets the kill. Poker in the in the <laughs> river area just spamming away. Blowy going in there, joining him as well. Redwood finds Poker, and now we're just gonna get a blasted away, but healed up. Crime putting some nice pills on the enemy combo, finishing up a dispenser. No more heals from Kosk on low health. Just a little bit of a carnage going on, a little bit of chaos, but looks like Paha 100% Seb, all 100% as well. Blue team is missing two players, but they are getting ready to push as soon as they get them. They have no poker, he's respawned, he's walking with Groom now, trying to get to them. Until then, don't really want to make a play. Uh, Peace Police recognizing this, send out Kosuke to see what he can get. Can't get anything, gets killed for his troubles, they lose Nebula as well, trying to do the same sort of play. Will Kosuke will respawn in time to defend. Don't really need your spy to do it anyway, but here they come, they send the heavy into water again. Will they pull it off this time with a dropping Seb, maybe? Poker being seen and we don't know he's just going back way again uber has been popped here red team counteracts as well but flowy goes on the point right now gonna get cleaned up as well there's a lot of red people swarming the point but they're gonna get cleaned up by poker they're losing everyone kosuke oh. is still alive it's just no. fondo with the smg can he do it he's got the sign out but no there it is at the very end too many player dropped during that uber by pizza police and wow. there you have it you've got your div one champions for season 16 KDS what? back in the army. What a game that was, Gamma. What a game. Both teams back and forth. First map here, PL Badwater, won so decisively by Kitty, which was surprisingly enough uh, Pizza's pick. Then Kitty picking up Cough Product, getting well three to one by pizza police and now on five cp gollywash the final score was two two 30 minute point mark going to the golden cap and kitty finally clenching the win clenching that map after a grueling time they had on this after so many failed pushes until us finally getting this oh my god it's well deserved
It you, is. you can't argue that it isn't really their performance all over the maps. You know, there's been some questionable plays by both teams. We'll put a lot out there, but overall, you can't argue that Kitty didn't deserve this at all. They had the best uh, record within the league, I believe. You know, they did get two default wins, but they won the three games that they had to play. They deserved this position. They deserved this final, and they deserved this win. Yeah, definitely. Just look in the final, look at the lies. There's not much to see as there's not that many kills, but Kasuke and Fondo win this one with 7-6 kills, but there's just such an even spread on all classes. It doesn't really matter at this point. And, well, the drop on Seb, I think that was just a crucial thing. This drop on Seb by Finske once again showing himself, poking out, and just getting that kill on the medic was the crucial thing that managed uh, or allowed Kitty to actually get into the last point and, well, cap it as a result. Finske's only kill in that Golden Cap series was, was the drop that? onto Seb. That's all he needs to do. That's all you need to do. It doesn't matter. If you get the kill that gets you the win, it doesn't matter how many other kills or how many times, uh, times you died. And well, well deserved, I think, for this last round here. Finsky definitely just being an absolute hero for Kitty's back in Barami team. But fortunately, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the Division 1 here, with KT being the absolute winners of this. Um, unfortunately, here, Uganda and Pizza Police, though bravely, succumbed to Kitty's uh, offense and finally lost this match here, granting themselves the second spot in the Div 1. And before we head out, I'm just going to plug in some of our stuff here as well. Be sure to visit us on Patreon. It's patreon.com slash critscast if you want to donate to us, help us out. Merch.critscast.com is also a website you can visit. We also have balloony socks on Teespring. It's going to be linked in the chat if you want. It's really cool stuff that's here too themed and you're really feeling funky that day. As well as you can just simply subscribe to the channel, help us out, which I'm probably going to do right now because why not? You know, don't, I'm just gonna help myself money. out. Gonna I don't help have myself money. out. <laughs> donate, please. Yeah, donate, please. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this amazing game with us here on Critzcast. My name has been Jake, and I was Gamma. And of course, with us as always, the faithful Weed Hoof. Without him, it wouldn't happen. I mean, you know, we can just produce ourselves all we want all day long, but as long as there's no one to actually produce it, there is no reason. So thank you very much, to you for all for you just watching this with us. I'm really exhausted at this point. So we're going to end this stream now. Please be sure to uh, follow us on Twitter as well for updates and notifications where the games are happening. And well, good night, everybody. Hi, old beaver. Oh, wait.